Hey guys, welcome once again to One Coin Only. I just realised I've got um this little thing up here soon. I need need to get rid of that still. There you go. By the way, a big congratulations for all the prize winners yesterday in our monthly giveaway. I did announce them on the personal page. Uh, I need to put them back on the regular page as well and in the group. I apologise. But the winners this month were uh, Brandon uh, Dysert, uh, Jonathan Brian Cooper, Keith Wade. And uh, Christopher Huntington, thank uh, congratulations uh, for winning all the prizes this month, and thank you for everything you do for OneCoin. Good luck to everyone next month, or this month, I should say. But uh, yeah, we're going to be playing some Revel uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1 today, guys. We hope you enjoy. This is a cool game. And uh, I haven't streamed this one for about a year, actually, so to get it on now uh, will be pretty cool. Um, I did some practice last night, and the first few hours I didn't really get stuck, so I think we'll get a, a decent amount of gameplay in today. And, uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. Gonna say hello to everyone in the room. And, uh, Dustin, thank you so much. Dustin with 530 stars already. All right, man, we'll give you a golden throw charm. I've actually got some new star screens now. I'm, I, I made some new star screens last night. Alright, right, I'm just going to go back through the other hellos as well. We got Amanda in here. We got Brett. Thank you so much, Dustin, for the 530 stars. That one's for you. And uh, we got Luther, Adam, Edmar, Petit, Catherine, Juan, Keith, Christian. And uh, we got Nathan there. We got Mr. Headlock Gaming himself. Thank you for a great stream, brother. Everyone say a big hello to D Wayne. And uh, we got Joanne, Billy, uh, Jonathan, Thomas, Tori. And uh, Susan, guys, really appreciate all you guys. We got Dead Tree Project on the YouTube. All right, well, we may as well get started, huh? We're going to start a new game. I'm going to keep my old file so I can practice ahead when I'm offline and then bring that knowledge uh, to you guys on the stream. So I've got to make sure I make another file here, but we'll be good. How you going, Nick? Good to see you. Dustin, once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate your generosity, sir. This is a pretty cool game. This is actually a lot more fun than I remember. I was playing this for a few hours last night. I was like, oh yeah. I was actually enjoying it the whole time. Had pretty good flow. There's kind of like a, a couple like survival horror type levels in this. And then you've got the action ones. And it's kind of a mixture, you know. How you going, Dave? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, there we go. I think everything is working. What What's going on with everybody? What's the news been today, apart from the obvious, of course? And, uh, so Catherine says, have you never played this game before? I hope you enjoy it. Campaign, we're gonna do a new game. Auto save data will be lost, that's fine by me. Play it on casual, of course. Gonna play on bish mode. So Brett says you have this on the PS4 and the 3DS. I never, I never played this on the 3DS. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed that they could get a game like this working on the little handheld, to be honest. Hey, you going, Michael? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just let me know how the volume is and everything, guys, before we get too far in. Hey, you going, Mikey? Thomas says, hope you're doing well, my friend. I'll gladly help you. If you, if, if you want, hope you keep your favorite star screens, Elder. I got you, Thomas. I just need to remember where I put it. <laughs> just wait till after the cutscene. Thomas, thank you for the 100 stars. Kid Jackson with 200 stars. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Kid Jackson. Kid Jackson with 300 stars. Incredible. Kid Jackson with 400 stars. There you go. You're making my head go pop. <laughs> Kid Jackson with 500 stars. Kid Jackson with 600 stars. It's bloody Haley's Comet. Kid Jackson was... Oh my god. Bro, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. I, I think Kid Jackson's like... Treating me like his favourite stripper at the Butter Bean right now. Here you go. Boom. 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 Kid Jackson, thank you so much. Kid, that's like a thousand stars now, bro. Oh my goodness. You're incredible. What are you doing, man? Oh, bro. Oh my gosh, I've lost count. What's, I think that's 1300 now. Oh my gosh. Is that like a Facebook glitch or is that... Oh my dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
How you going, guys? I think I'm, I'm trying to keep count. I think that's 17. Oh, my goodness. All right. Thomas with the 100 stars. Kid Jackson with the 1,700 stars. Let me find where this... Uh... All right, here we go. Where is this excuse me for? Okay, so this is for Thomas. Well, excuse me, princess. Oh, my gosh. 2,000 stars from Kid Jackson. Thank you, Thomas. This is all I got to say to you, Kid Jackson. This is appropriate right now. you doing sucker <laughs> thank you so much my man it's about time we got a mr t screen there huh i'm surprised i haven't done mr t yet no i knew it was you i was just kidding brother kid jackson thank you so 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 much my man that 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 was just that was that was just a, a bad joke forgive me you, you would think after three years and don't forget it's our third birthday tomorrow you'd think after three years i'd realize that i'm not that funny <laughs> uh. that, was, that, 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 that was that was totally an appropriate scream for that for that moment in time, wasn't it? <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. Oh gosh, let's go in here. You ever played? This is really cool, man. No signs of life. How you going, Jerry? Good to see you. We got Nightmare Thirteen in here. Dead Tree says you'll be back and forth tonight. No, that's okay. I understand. You, you do your thing, my friend. I don't think we're I'm just trying to get some rhythm in here. Try, trying to be a good multitasker. Oh, thank you, Nostra Thomas. I appreciate you. Big shout out to Kid at Heart Gaming, guys. Big shout out to the whole crew. Don't forget to check them out. Thank you, Tom Tom. Alright, which way are we going to go now? Can't do anything in here, can we? Right. Helen says it's a great game. I actually really enjoy this myself, to be honest. And, uh... <clears throat> hey, going, Alan? Good to see you. What's going on for the one coin only birthday party? Well, uh, we are doing a double beat it or eat it. And we're doing a double beat it or eat it. So, we're doing two beat it or eat it's in a row. As, you know, a little special. So, you might see one coin only like double torture himself but uh, apart from yeah Hope, I'm hoping we're going the right way well, I think I need to open some of these cupboards hey go on Daniel good to see you sorry guys it just takes a little minute to get my I'm just seeing if there's any um like lockers here or anything there we go I need, I need to hunt down some of these items did I hear the PS5 reveal event got delayed? No, I didn't. But, I mean, it's not, not the end of the world. I think with everything going on on the planet right now, I, I can totally understand why. And, uh... Yeah, no, abso ab absolutely, guys. It's like, yeah, big, bigger things in the world to worry about at the moment, isn't there? <clears throat> you have this on the Wii U. This is pretty much on everything. Everything here. What are we going to do here? Just going to make sure I get enough ammo and stuff. Alright. Albert with the big here. 500 stars. Thank you very much, Albert. I really appreciate you, man. How you going? We got Fryzy in here. Good to see you, Fryzy. Thanks for hanging out, Fryzy. Albert, I'm going to be right with you, my brother. And we got Carlos. Hello. Good night from Brazil. Carlos, you have a great evening. And Nightmare Thirteen says you hope this goes smoother than the playthrough of Outlast. Ha 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 ha. Give me a, a bit sec. of a dick comment, Nightmare. Fuck you. <laughs> and uh, t so it's not Chris. I'm doing all right, Tommy. In there, as I said, I'm still waking up a little bit. He's gonna do two beat read it if that he's doing it. I'd avoid, yeah, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm man, everything's going crazy in here. There's a lot of cuts. Okay, here we go. Shit, let me just pause. So Albert with the 500 stars, Tommy with the 100. Thank you, everybody. We got some new thank you screens. Here we go. The dogs! 
kids love to bark. Thank you, fellas. Really, really appreciate the love. That's incredible. How, how was the breakfast? I, um... What was I going to say? I, um... I just had some tin spaghetti for breakfast. I haven't done a food shop yet. I'm probably going to do one, to, uh, if not tonight, tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just eating kind of what I've got like left in the fridge at the moment. You mean you remember the double D, double dice? I mean, I love it, hey. I kind of, you know what I kind of want to have vibing in one coin only? You know when you used to go to the basketball games in the 90s and early 2000s and you'd have all the dance music playing? I, I, I kind of want that. I kind of want that vibe, you know? Hey, going, Rutherford? Good to see you. Hey, going, Patrick? Good to have you. Thank you for hanging out, man. Oh my gosh, Brandon! Give me that song. It's a classic. Oh my goodness! And Mar Mar Marco says, make sure you don't buy that Big Mac meal tonight. Eat the stale bread and mayonnaise you find in the fridge. Support one. <laughs> Marco, that is incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Marco dropping a big 1,000 stars. Oh, man, I, man, that's incredible. Thank you, dude. No, absolutely no pressure, guys. But um, if you ha just one thing. If you have been sending stars and you haven't got a subscription yet, think about it because you get a lot of perks in return for a subscription. I'd hate it if you're like... Sending stars and you don't have a sub because then I can't give you the awesome stuff back. That's just something to think about. But, um... Yeah, I know they have Django. Hang in there, my brother. My, my heart really goes out to you guys. Like, I've, I've been keeping up with the news, watching it all the time. And I'm just like... Oh, As I said, I just hope we can be a distraction for you guys. Thank you, Mark. I'm going to be right with you, bro. The FBC, the world's leading counter bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the US. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys finally got it. I'm actually surprised it came out, uh, you know, with my Sharona as well, Mikey, actually. Can you lower your mic volume? I, uh, is is my, anyone else think my mic's too loud? Hey, hey go on there, Selena. Good to see you. Is it too late to wish me a game for Wednesday? No, but you got to get to my inbox uh, within the next 24 hours. began to refer to the incident as the Terra Panic. Following the there you go. I'll move the microphone back the backwards. It it's good for you guys. The it's the same as it always is. Veltro. It is now 2005. That's why I've got the cutscene, so you can still. That's why I've got the subtitles up, so you can read the subtitles if I'm talking over it. But as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible. I uh, just move the move the microphone backwards. Hopefully, that's a little bit better. Uh, guys, please don't bleep, please don't bring your political agendas in here today, guys. As I said, one coin only is a neutral space, and I don't mean to be like tacky or anything, but like I, you know, one love, live and let live. Why can't we all just fucking get along? That's what I believe. And I'm not going to talk about any social issues, guys. I just want you to come in here, have a good time, forget your troubles while you're in here. And if anyone compromises that, then I'm going to have to deal with it. Because I, I don't want to talk about political and social issues in one point only. So I just ask that you please respect the boundaries of the page. I guess the FDC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put it's two and two now. together. Cool. That's why I've sent the BSA. Thank you, Django. I appreciate it. Hey, go on, Philip. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No. Uh, and uh, hey, go on there, Jeremy. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. It's a lot of cutscenes here at the beginning, but we'll do a lot of shooty shooty stuff soon. Clifford also dropping the 500 stars. Clifford and Marco, thank you guys. All right, we got some more thank you screens to come out. And uh, all right, here we go. 
It's a little bit of a slow start, but we're almost into it. This is going out to Clifford and Marco. We got a couple coming here. And also this one. You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much, Phil. As you can see, I've been working and bringing some new star screens in. I love them. So what we need to do is we need to identify all these blobby things. Jeremy also! Jeremy with 100 stars! Anthony with 100! Thank you, guys! Skin so pale. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you, Dean. I appreciate that. Yes, a Final Fantasy... T that was a long time coming. That was just a matter of time, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Anthony. This is going out to you guys. Yeah, Kurt, that's a Facebook thing. That That's why, guys... Look, to everyone that's... Uh, thank you again, Anthony and Jeremy. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to catch up with everyone. Um, what was I going to say? For those of you who are not getting your notifications, uh, don't forget to follow our YouTube page as well. Um, our YouTube link is pinned in the comments, guys. Give it a subscribe. Uh, keep in mind, OneCoin only has about 70,000 followers. And how many people are in here right now? 74. What does that say? That says that Facebook doesn't give all their notifications out. So what you need to do is you need to subscribe to our YouTube or other social media. And then if you're subscribed on both Facebook and YouTube, chances are if you don't get a notification when we're live from one, you'll uh, get the notification from the other, and then you'll be more likely uh, to not miss a stream. It moved! And, uh, no, this is, uh, this is actually PS4. It just looks like, uh, an old game. Because this, keep in mind, this game was originally designed for the 3DS, and that's why the graphics aren't so great, but I'm playing the PS4 port, which is, is still okay. But yeah, it kind, it kind of has similar graphics to uh, Resi, t uh, Resi 4, doesn't it? So they're not the world's best graphics, but still a really fun game. Oh shit, that just fucked me up. Smell. Must have ruptured from gas. You see, yeah. Just one of those things. Get, get back on the ass. We got it. <clears throat> you only get notified from Facebook, not YouTube? Yeah. What are we gonna do? I think we're gonna go on uh, up this. Hang on, we got this one. Almost there. Switch looks just like this. Hey, go on, April. Every, very, 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 very big happy birthday once again to April. I hope you had a lovely day. Thank you for coming in, girl. All right, we got this. Graphics are it's still a great resi game. I've collected enough samples. Here you go, Kid Jackson, dropping another 500 stars. God bless you, Kid Jackson. Thank you so much. Oh, well, I'm trying to think. I think there's one more thank you screen I haven't shown you guys yet. You, you, you some bitches are so generous because uh, I've already used it, all of my new thank you screens. <laughs> thank you, brother. I'm going to be right with you. Oh, my gosh. You suffer both of one coin, but you think Facebook overrides the notifications? Of course they do. As I said, if they didn't do that, then I'd have 70,000 people in here instead of 73. You know what I mean? That's that's that goes with all pages. It's not just me. Like like you look at like uh, some of the biggest streamers on the internet with a million followers, they get 500 people watching. You know, it's the same thing. Like Ronda Rousey's got 11 million followers, and she still only gets 35,000 lives. Like, you know, it's just just yeah, it's just one of those things. That's that's why that's why I don't forget our scheduled times, guys. We're on at 7 p.m. until late every single day. That's every day. So, you guys know that we're on at 7 p.m. every day. So don't wait for the notification, just come on the page and check, you know? It's, it's been that way for a long time. You've, you've got an April. April, thank you for the 100 stars. We've got April, we've got Kid Jackson. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Oh, no, Jerry, you're telling me. 
Good. Get to it. The Brett says this Skill. December will be 35 years since Space Harry was released in the arcade. You know how much I love that game, right? You lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates. Hey, go, hey, go, Marcus. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. The signal was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be. Oh, gosh. Yeah, guys, don't forget to smash the like button. We're, we're going to get up to the really, really good stuff after this area now. We're about to play as Chris uh, Redfield for the first time. Yes, sir. How you going, Brittany? We got Southern Bowl Gaming in the house. Good to see you, chick. Thank you so much for hanging out. <clears throat> How you going, say, Brittany? Doing all right? We got Dion. Good to see you, Dion. That's a pretty unique city in the middle of the water. Hey, we're going to have to suss that out a bit more. Oh, fantastic. I don't know what the BP rating does. Maybe you have to upgrade stuffs with that. I was going to go the next mission. So, uh, let me just go back here. There you go on there, Marcus. And there you go. Once again, April wants dancing D-Wayne skit. I've got you. What we got? This is for you. You can't touch this. I hope not. Thank you, April. Really appreciate you, girl. Then let's find him already. That was a little flashback scene. Now we're back on the boat where we first started, just so you guys know. Nick says you're chilling on your patio with some beers. Do you hear that? Chilling on the patio for the win. I'll check it out. Okay. I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if so I you can basically use today. this little scanner to find hidden items like uh, ammo and quest items and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think there's going to be like a quest piece here. Well, what's that over here? So we've got plenty of ammo. We're not going to run out now. I guess we're just going to leave here. <clears throat> You'll kill me with those? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got Chris. We got Chris coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah, we get to play as Jill. We get to play as Chris. We actually, um, we actually get to pretty much play as everybody. Chris. Hey, gone, Alan. On, Good to see you. Something. Back and forth, Chris, Facebook and YouTube, and it looks good. Big thank you to everyone who's supporting us on both. It's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay. Congratulations on being a Southern Belle. Yeah, Brit Brittany's our very own Lacey Evans. Okay, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. No. You have permission to kill me for do no, I'm not gonna do a southern accent. I can't do it. I can't. I feel bad straight after I do it. <laughs> oh gosh, anything over here? No. I love it. I kinda get the Resi 2 vibes, like the Resi 2 remake vibes from this. Like, because you got to walk around with a flashlight and stuff. It's a little bit creepy. Oh, hello. How you doing? You know what? These dudes kind of look like lobsters. They're like little lobster men. I'm going to quickly go here, see if I can find more ammo. Yeah, no. Can we pick that up? There we go. we got some more ammo. <clears throat> Your Ricky Southern accent's as bad as your Aussie accent. Yeah, I 100% agree with you on that. <laughs> I think you're right. How you going, Miss Violence? Good to see you. Speaking of Southerners, we got Miss Violence in here. Always lovely to see you. And, uh, alright. See if we can find any stuffs in here. Not all these levels are dark, so don't worry. You know, I, I feel like some of these dark levels, although the atmosphere is there, it, it can be like... Frustrating finding your way around sometimes. So 4D has to go through ten of your emails to find the right email. You, you're not you're not being an ED some bitch, are you, Nicholas? You, Nick, you, you better not be being an ED some bitch, Nicholas. Or well, there's going to be beanbag kicks to go out for free. 
How you going there, Shannon? Good to see you. Guys, don't forget if I'm missing any comments, please copy and paste. I'll get back to you guys uh, eventually. Oh, and I hope you're staying healthy and safe. There you go. There's a, there's, there's a dead chicken here with really, really big knockers. I, I guess it makes sense because you were out in the water now. And if she's caught without a, a lifeboat, you're about to see she's got like some bolt-on flotation devices there. But anyway, um, do we have any grenades here? No, we don't have any grenades yet. Oh my gosh, get back off him here, Jill. Headshots obviously help, but I mean headshots aren't as important as this one. In this one, I've noticed compared to other resis. So I, you can get the rifle later on, and one thing I've noticed about the rifle is no matter where you shoot the enemies, you can get a one-hit kill, so I don't think the headshots are as, as important in this one. I'm still trying to piece that together. She has some shape to her bake. Yeah, look look at this, man. See, I feel bad because this, this, she, she's a dead bitch, but then she's just got her puppies hanging out. Anyway, let's get this. I'll try not to focus on a breast for too long. Facebook will get me in trouble. All right, we're gonna go back out here. Parker, I couldn't <laughs> find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Oh my gosh! Knock, knock. Oh my goodness! It's not after dark. Oh, I'm just call. I mean, I tell you what. I'm sorry, but I didn't deliberately play a game with boobs. It just came with a, yeah. Oh, I got you. I'm glad you got your power on, uh, Toot Colin, because now you can join us. That key says Oz on it. Yeah, it's a key to a fucking Australia, mate. You use this key, you can go to the pub, get yourself a Foster's beer, a pet kangaroo, and a really nice looking Shula. I'm going to go back over here. So the second game actually takes 35 hours to beat. I haven't done the second game yet, but uh, either myself or D-Wayne will do that eventually. We, we both got a copy of it, we just haven't done it yet. But I feel a little bit more confident with this now, because I practiced for about two or three hours last night. And I didn't really get stuck. So, uh, yet. So. Oh, we got him. I don't know if there's anything in here we need to actually look for. Oh, hello. Oh, get back off on ya. There's more ammo. Alright, cool. Just having a look around. Or something in the washing machine, mate. Right, there you go. We're filled up with ammo now. No problem. As Zach says, it's not Rick's fault that there's boobies in the game he's playing. Correct. Correct, mate. It's all perks of the job. Wait, did I just say perky? Never mind. <laughs> hey, how you going, Player 40? Thank you very much for coming in. We've got Joshy in the house, guys. Don't forget to check him out. Would I prefer a wallaby or a kangaroo if they were legal to have as pets? I mean, it's it's more or less the same thing. Um, where am I supposed to go now? Uh, am I am I going the right way? Uh, hey, oh, hang on, I, I know where I need to go now. My bad. I think I know where I need to go. Got, got a little bit stuck, but that's okay. Now we have to go over here. It's fine. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just... Oh, yeah. See, if you can see enemies, you know you're going the right way. Yeah, exactly. That's that, that that's the thing, Dion. And Wallaby won't beat you to death when it becomes an adult. But, uh, yeah, that that's a good point, actually. As I said, kangaroos have got the ability to fuck a human up, big time. Okay, basically, the, the I mean, wallabies are basically like kangaroos, but smaller. They're very similar. And uh, that's how I've always seen them anyway. So, Dead Tree Project says you keep a few generators around so you don't lose your fridge food. That's actually a good idea. Oh, Jeremy, you're welcome. Jeremy says he's going to watch First Blood tonight because of my Rambo stream the other day. 
I love that game. I, that's a guilty pleasure of mine. Let's be honest, the game is not that fantastic, but I love it. I, I don't know why I love it so much. I guess we all like Rambo, huh? I guess, I guess the, the fact that we have a Rambo game, we just wanted to make the best of what we got, I suppose. But yeah, I always enjoyed it. Is kangaroo meat tough? It is. Kangaroos are like don't really have a lot of body fat, so... Um, if you cook a kangaroo steak and you cook it properly, it can be the most delicious thing you ever have. But if you don't cook it properly, then you're going to get a kangaroo steak that comes out like rubber. So it is very hard to get right. Hey, go on, Rick. Good to see you. At least for someone like me who doesn't cook too much. Some games are allowed to just be fun. Exactly. You know, I, th I think I think the thing why I like the Rambo game is it doesn't take itself too seriously. All right, guys, we're a half an hour in. We're not doing too bad so far. I can see you, Lenore. Lenore, I'm just struggling today. The comments are on fire. I'm not ignoring anybody on purpose, Lenore. Previous you know, as I, as I said, like, I just respectfully ask some members of the Sunbish army not to be so needy. Because if you can't have empathy at the fact that the comments are going a million miles an hour, then one coin only and yourself might have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> but I don't mean to be rude. I am trying to do my best. I'm actually, I actually find it a real shame that we never got uh, a video game for Rambo 4. Because there was a lot of action in Rambo 4. That would have made a pretty good game. Chris! <clears throat> what is this? Oh, great. How you going, Johnny? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. It's time you learned the truth. It's Valentine. Big thank you once again for liking and sharing, guys. I'm really looking forward to this. Alright, so, so there you go. We're going to continue with Jill's story soon. We're going to do Chris's here first. Rutherford says, What would happen if a person kicked a fight with a kangaroo? It would probably beat the shit out of you with its legs. You, go, you guys really don't understand. Man, kangaroos... Uh, I mean, most most of the time, kangaroos are pretty placid, but if you piss one off and make it feel threatened, it'll run after you and kick you to death. I'm not even kidding. They're, they're temperamental. Kangaroos are almost as temperamental as cats. Like, you know how, like, a cat will just, like, get pissed off and bite you out of nowhere? It's the same with a kangaroo. A kangaroo might be your friend for a second, and all of a sudden be like, okay, I'm done with you, friend, and it'll kick you. Like, you got to be careful. Peak. How you going, Jermaine? Good to see you. Maybe it's the weather. All right, here we go. We've got an action level now. Gonna sign off now, but you'll check. But no worries, Jeremy. You take care of yourself, brother. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, don't don't piss a kangaroo off. It's not in your best interest. Oh, My God, it crashed. <laughs> yes, find out in the next episodes. He's episodic. This is like the Game of Thrones of Resident Evil. Come on. Have I seen a kangaroo fight? I have. Hey, I've been kicked by a kangaroo. Yeah, kangaroo. You, you know, everyone's like, "Oh, I fight a kangaroo." You would freaking come out second place. No one could have lived through that. <laughs> Investigate the site. See if you can find, find anything. anything. No, there's nothing there. <clears throat> Cats are like Miss. Yeah, man, I don't trust cats. I, I, I've always had a phobia for cats. Uh, when I was about 12 years old, I tried to pet my friend's cat, and all of a sudden it just jumped up on my hand, dug its teeth right in my hand, and I couldn't shake it off. Like, it was pissed off just because I was trying to pet it. And ever since then, I've never trust cats. Cats can kiss my big fat ass, quite frankly. Alright, there we go. Ricky getting kicked by a kangaroo would be a fine star screen. Well, I mean, my sister said there's video evidence of that happening from when I was around small. So, you know what? We can probably find it. I'll, I'll see if I can find it for you. I'll ask my grandmother if she's got the tape. I, I think my grandmother still has a tape of me getting kicked by a kangaroo. <laughs> you never know. You might get it one day. But it, it, this was three-year-old me that got kicked by a kangaroo. Keep in mind, I'm 39 now, so it's very retro. Yeah, no, you could. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
Oh, Rick with the... I'm so sorry, Rick. I didn't mean to... Who sent Who sent a thousand stars? Man, see, guys, I don't mean to be so rude. Everything's going so quick. Let me, let me just pause here very quickly. Oh, my goodness. I feel like the worst host on the planet. A thousand stars? I, I didn't get a thousand stars there, Rick. What are you talking about? I just went, stopped and went back to look, Rick. What are you talking about? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hey, Clarissa, good to see you. I hope you're doing alright. we got games by gamers in here. Thank you for coming in. You meant a thousand stars of the... Oh. What's going on here? Search a crash. This is just glitched out. Oh, I was going to be like, what's going on here? We should check out the plane more thoroughly. See what we find. You didn't see it pop up? No, he... he... Hey, go on, by the way, we got Big J Laws over on the YouTube. What, what did it say? We gonna, oh, we're going to investigate the... Okay, hang on. We've forgotten to do something. Oh, hang on, we're going to search his body for something. Hang on. What's this? Okay. The manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. They were headed for... So, so poor dogs don't stand a chance, neither do people really, like Tyson trying to fight it. well, I wouldn't want to be that tiger, I'm just saying. Hold on. So Mike says they'll beat you up like Rue in Streets of Rage 3. Yeah, exactly, they will. So what else is going on today, guys? Anything else happening in your neck of the woods? Obviously, I ask from the positive sense, like, you know... You should have worn your thermal underwear. So Zach says, let's search the plane. Search his plane, finds nothing important. No, just like a freaking... Oh, he... hello, how are you going? Just don't tell Peter on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. You think I need to do a Carol Braskin screen one of these days? Looks that way. Well, I mean, that, that's a possibility. You got a hundred more of dog food to fill your fridge. Well, there you go, Dino. Hey, Rick, thank you very much, Rick, dropping the big one. Oh, look, I've got the greatest star screen coming here uh, of all time now. Brace yourself, guys. Brace yourself. This is the greatest star screen you will ever see, like ever. Get off my Shitbird! Shitbird! <laughs> that is the best scene from a Resident Evil game of all time. Changed my mind. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. I, I just read your comment, Dead Tree. I'm surprised that's more, not more of a more common thing. It happens everywhere in the world. How good is that? Thank you, Screen. Thank you so much, Rick, for the 100 stars. What do you guys think? Isn't that the best Resident Evil scene of all time? <laughs> I know you guys have been asking for that for a long time. I know I know you guys have been asking for that screen for a long time, so you're welcome. Shipbird just made it. Yeah. I, I have a feeling people are going to ask for that almost as much as the hot dog. Oh gosh, shit. This, 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 uh, this scene is a little bit anxiety inducing because you never have enough ammo for this area. You love it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Amanda. I appreciate it. Alright, there we go. We got this. Yeah, so Colin says you had a funny idea for one coin only army. People can feel themselves raging on a video game and the best one wins a prize. You know what? That's actually not a half bad idea, to be honest. That's actually a really... That's actually a pretty decent idea. And uh, Alan says, with, uh, thank you, Alan. Alan with another 100 stars. Alan, I'm going to be fuckity. Oh my gosh. Alan, I'll be right with you, bud. Fuckity. Fuckity. This is freaking crazy. Oh my gosh, man. There's too many freaking dogs in here. Who let the dogs out? Oh, 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 oh. Did I actually just do that? I think I did. Alan, this is for you. Thank you, my brother, for the 100 stars. 
Suggested rule minimum 250. No, res Resi's okay. I I I don't I don't I don't, I don't think Shipbird's gonna go as viral as what the hot dog song did. Nick says, "What about a Sunbish Army when it gets a star screen?" You guys are bringing up some good ideas. I just have to figure out a concept to run the competition. But yeah, sure. You like you like the. <laughs> I, I might need to do a star screen of myself singing the Fackety song. Hang on, let me just double check back over here for a second, see if I've, there's any ammo that I haven't picked up yet. Oh, here we go. Just gonna make sure I have enough handgun ammo, because we've got a really, really hard section coming up in a sec. Oh, no. That's, well, that's another grenade. That'll help us. If you had a button for your star screen, it'd be out of service. Oh, I, I, what do you mean, Kid Jack? If I had a button, I'm, I think I might have missed part of the conversation. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, brother, that actually just went over my head. I, I think I might just be a little flustered trying to keep up at the moment. <laughs> there we go, the one coin only song. Yeah, we need to do the one coin only faculty song. Gosh. Oh, Oh, what have we got here? So I think we're about to fall down this ravine and then we have to survive an onslaught of dogs. Right, there we go. So we're all right here. And so what we need to do is we need to use some grenades, but I'm not going to use them until the end of the assault. Kurt dropping. Oh, shit balls. Kurt, thank you very much, Kurt, with 650. Going out to you. Thank you so much, Kurt. Much love to you, my man. <laughs> How you been keeping, by the way, Lewis? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming in. Oh, no, I got you, Kid Jackson. Yep, yep. Chris, are you okay? Okay, Chris, Chris just fell down. He ain't doing too well. I'm not going anywhere for a while. You surprised I don't have it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, we can do that one day. Oh, my gosh. Chris, Chris, has, Chris has broken his legs and now he's all, all fucked up. It's game over. I, I might have to try this bit more than once because this bit can be pretty tricky. Oh yeah, no worries. Reload in the middle of a dog fight, you idiot. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, Chris dog. Oh gosh, this is hectic. More ship bird. Alright, I'll do more ship bird. It's okay. <laughs> you guys just like that star screen because it's got a naughty word in it. Oh, come on. As I said, we've got grenades to use, but the, 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 the wave of enemies is going to become harder, so I'm trying to save them for later. Oh, gosh. Boy, this this level makes me so anxious. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, right, there we go. Oh man! These big ones are, a... dude. All right, there we go. Yeah, get back off them now. Oh, we okay now? All right, we made it. Thanks. He's falling. He can't get up. Like literally. <laughs> so Koi says you're gonna stream Saints Row. Get out of hell tomorrow night. Oh, I might pop in and watch you do that for a little minute, Koi. As long as I'm not streaming at the same time, because I've always been curious about the later. Uh, Saints Row games. I've never seen them, and I didn't know if they were worth picking up myself. That'd be cool to cool to check out. Let me know if if you get the chance. Let me know before you come on. We got Mr. Koi Community Gaming in here, by the way, guys. Don't forget to check out Koi. Koi, you've got permission to come in as your page, my friend, so we can give you some love. Look, is that the airstrip? <clears throat> That's their hideout. 
Oh, there we are. We made it, guys. It was a little bit sloppy, but we made it. This is Forkball. Do you read? Chris here. I read you, sir. Are you all right? Where are you? And, uh... Here killed our sick you know, for someone who just broke his leg, Chris is running around just fine. Yeah, I know! A minute ago, he couldn't get up. <laughs> it's like, there's, there's no continuity to this game, right? Like, none. I haven't heard from them since. How? What's going on? Chris, you better look at this. Yeah, he just, yeah, green herb makes you, apparently a green herb makes you all immortal. Apparently. O'Brien, you're not gonna like this. We found the Veltra I love quest. the next chapter because we're about to go back to using Jill. And what I like about using Jill is it's... Uh, Jill's side of the fence is a lot more survival horror. So when you play as Jill, it's a lot, lot more like Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil 7. Whereas Chris and Carlos and all that's kind of the more... Um, kind of like... Uh, like the more action-orientated ones. We'll sort it out later. We have to move. Well, I, I want to. I don't want to. I want to say to all brothers and sisters, one love, Dion, to everyone, to absolutely everyone. Uh, Ian says, video game logic, a broken leg is something you can walk off in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 you know, this might be based in the future, and I don't know, maybe you can keep, like, a jar of, like, stem cells, and you can just put it on your leg, and maybe that's what's, yeah, may, maybe there's stem cells in that herb. Do you... Parker. Where are you? I don't know. A room, I think. Somewhere on the ship. Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are out, it seems. We should regroup. So, uh, so... Alright, so all you got, we need to escape this room now. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. I think there's like a screwdriver, I think, inside this door. You, you got, need that liquid from Resi 7 that washed the guy's hand back off. Yeah, see? Kind, kind of like that. Oh, this cheesecake is good. I'm glad you're enjoying your cheesecake. I had a whole cheesecake the other day, and now I'm on a diet because I felt bad afterwards. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, hello. We've got to be really careful here. Press... Okay, so it's really hard to evade these attacks. Like, it's really, really hard, but I'm going to try. There we go. So, it, th this first part of this mission is going to be really tough because we're going to go outside and find our weapons again. Mm. Alright, so this is not too hard a puzzle. Th th these these parts. You know, what I love about this game is the puzzles are a lot easier in this compared to regular Resi games. Like, th these are puzzles for kids. Right, there we go. We made it. So, we have to come back up here, but not until later. This is basically the exit. We need to shoot out the lock once we have a gun. And, uh, you had a lot of problems with this part. This, this part can definitely be a little bit tricky the first time you do it. Oh, damn it. It's alright. The good news is, since we're playing on casual, we're going to find plenty of herbs. And, uh, it's not going to be such a big issue. Yeah, no shit. Just do your best to dodge. Dodgy, dodgy, dodge, dodge. Yeah, grab this herb. You gotta be careful because there's like zombies taking a dump in here, I think, or whatever they are. Oh shit! Get out of there, Jill! Oh, we don't need to be in there no more. And, uh, there's so Nightmare says, then Chris did a punch to a boulder in Resi 5 and anything is possible. Man, I tell you what, if you, if you can punch a boulder, then you're, you're, you're uh, officially a superhero. I hope pants painted on. 
you, you think you, D Wayne, you think the graphics are that bad, hey? They, they, look, I'm not gonna lie, the graphics are not that great in this game. Don't don't forget, guys, this game was actually made and designed for the 3DS. So they just upscaled it a little bit so they could put it on the PS4. I'm I'm totally aware, D Wayne, that this kind of looks like a PS2 or PS3 game. Well, actually, this did come out in the PS3, didn't it? So, Deeb says, you wish you finished the Revelation series? Yeah, I'm trying to get into it now. As I said, I want I know you guys really, really like it when I stream Resi, so I'm trying to come up with as many Resi games as I can. I own all of them. Like, I own every single Resident Evil game. Um, either digitally or physically. Except, actually, the only Resident Evil game I don't own is uh, Outbreak Files 2. I've got the first one. I still need to get number two. I just can't wait to get my gun back. This is really frustrating. And uh, don't forget, guys, if I miss any of your comments, don't forget to copy and paste. You know me, I'm not being rude on purpose most of the time. Uh, so, Player 4, says, Revelations 2 would be in your... Really? Well, I do have a copy of that. Are you okay? Red, I'm fine. But D, D, D Wayne may things. end up doing that. Okay. We're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. I want, I want to do the like, the raid mode in this. I might try that behind the scenes as well. There's like a mode where you can like um isn't there like the multiplayer mode and stuff? Wait, there are more creatures. Hey, go on there, Cruz. Always good to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. It just So how are we going to get track. in there? Okay, just open the door, Rick. Duh. The weapons I found are just up ahead. Alright, we're gonna get our weapons back in a sec. Don't you worry, everybody. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck! I tried... I didn't mean to use that herb, either. Ah, damn it. It's alright. So, the, the dodging mechanic in this is terrible. Like, all you, what you're supposed to do is press up and X as they attack. And I can never ever pull it off. Like, it's really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible, horrible mechanic. They could have come up with something better. And, like, don't, don't get me wrong, I play Resident Evil 3 and the dodge mechanic in Resi 3 is so much better. And, uh, did I get this from... For, no, I'm not playing the Steam version today. I'm playing the, um... Playing the... Oh shit, okay, no, we're not gonna go in here yet. <laughs> I better get the gun first. Oh, right, here we go, we made it. Colin says speedrunners amaze you and piss you off at the same time. What don't you like about speedrunners? The only game I speedrun, or, or I mean, I wouldn't call myself a speedrunner, but the only game I speedrun is Resident Evil 3 Remake, just because I've played it way too much. Alright, so here we go. Just gonna... Oh, I'm gonna just open this box up quickly, put a new gun in. There we are. Well, that's all sorted. And a big thank you to everyone who just came in. You, what's my favourite Resident Evil game? I don't think you get any better than Resident Evil 2 OG. But uh, my second favourite Resident Evil game is now Darkseid Chronicles. You know, the gun shooter, I love it. And my third favourite Resident Evil game is probably Resident Evil 3 Remake. And then number four is uh, number seven. Um, is there anything in here we actually need? Let's just... Oh, there's something under the bed. Let's have a look at what's here. Probably some ammo. No, a grenade. Guess there's nothing in this room we actually need. Alright, let's just get out. Hey, how you going, by the way? Nick, good to see you still in here. Alright, so we got the gun. So now we need to go upstairs and just shoot that lock. It's pretty straightforward, actually. The guy that be oh, so you like oh you you watch the guy that beat Zelda in under thirty minutes. Look, the reason I mainly don't like speed running 
is because it takes years and years of practice for very little glory. Like, let's be honest, you can be a speedrunner and put, like, years and years of practice in a game. And how many people honestly give a shit? Like, not that many people. So, you know, it's just a... I just feel like it's a... It's not a great use of your time considering the rewards you get back. You know what I mean? And also, another reason I don't like speedrunning is you don't get to savor the experience. Like, you're just rushing through a game and you're not even enjoying it. So it's just... Yeah, it's, it's not for me. Give me a sec here, guys. Here we go, got some more ammo. And Etta, thank you, Etta. Etta just sent 200 stars. Etta, thank you very much. This is going out to you. What's the worst Resi game I've played? I'll let you know in a sec. And also this one, Etta. Thank you so much. What you doing, sucker? What do I think the worst... Uh, thank you, Etta, for the 200 stars. What do I think? How you going, Brett? What do I think the worst Resi game I've ever played is? Um... Oh gosh. Um There's not a re there isn't a Resident Evil game that I've never really liked. Although I played um Outbreak Files. I was actually going to start practicing Outbreak Files um so I could stream it for you in a future stream. But I Outbreak Files really really disappointed me because the load times are like really 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 bad. Like r terrible. So, um, I, I think, I think, for me, Outbreak Files was probably the biggest letdown. Um, yeah, I, yeah, on first impressions, anyway. You think, you think 4 is the worst? Oh, jeez, that's an unpopular opinion. But it's an opinion you're allowed to have, it's just an unpopular one. <laughs> wow, someone, yeah, man, what, what don't you like about number 4? Oh, you think it's... Well, okay, I can understand that. It took it more into an action sort of... I get it. What the fuck is that coming out of its mouth? It looks like a freaking dog. Alright. <laughs> uh. Alfonso, stay... Oh my gosh, Alfonso, stay safe, my brother. I know, I know it's a freaking uh, jungle out there, my man. You look after yourself. Alright, I think we just gotta go this lock, okay? Eh? Oh shit, man. Right, let's get out. There you go, we got him. Oh, jeez, bro. Come on, get that sunbish. Oh, boy. Oh, lucky we had those grenades. Try, trying to see if I've got some more ammo here. I'm running really short. There's not a whole lot I can do right now, is there? Alright, in this door we go. Oh, here we go. This is a new part of the game. You think number six is the worst? I can't have an, an opinion on number six because I've got it, but I haven't played it yet. So, play, so Josh says you'd rather play Saw Your Own Foot than Res... Is really that bad, is it? Is Resident Evil 6 really that bad? Or are we all just... No, is it really? <laughs> yeah, Alfonso, man. You might call out tomorrow and just watch one coin only all day. Yeah, I'd recommend you stay home for now where it's safe. As I said, guys, I don't want to talk about what's going on too much in the stream. But, uh, as, as I said, I know this whole situation's a really, really tough time for all of you. And, uh, if you want to talk about it, guys, right now my, uh, inbox is an open door. You can send me a message, alright? Um. I, I want to be there for you guys. I know, I know a lot of you need a friend right now. So, so, Miss Violence says you bought it and took it back the same day. What, Resident Evil 6? Wow, really? <laughs> it must be that bad. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up if you haven't yet. Thank you, everybody. It really helps us out. Guys, if you know any Resident Evil groups uh, or any gaming group shares, are also very much appreciated. No pressure, of course, but a big thank you in advance. 
Okay, here we go. So we're almost in the new area now. Uh, can we open any of these and get some ammo? Have I ever played Resident Evil Gaiden? Yeah, I mean, I like the idea behind Resident Evil Gaiden. I thought it was pretty... Pretty optimistic to get a, a Resident Evil experience on the Game Boy Color. So, I mean, kudos to Capcom for trying. It's not the worst game I've ever played. You're not so bad yourself, Edmar. Thank you, Jacob. I'm glad you're liking it. So it's, it's a little bit different to the usual resi stuff I do, huh? Oh, handgun ammo case. Oh, great. I actually missed that in my last single player uh, playthrough. Alright, so what are we going to do here? We can't change our course. We're completely adrift. This is recent. The perpetrator can't be far. Oh, we got this. Guys, I'm going to pee while this cutscene's on. I'll be right back. Don't tell me that was the tugboat. Shit, we'll be stuck here. Damn it. Please, drop the weapon. Drop yours, Parker. Who the hell are you? Thanks, guys. I just had a lot of Pepsi before I started. There you go. Looks like I came back at the right time. Yeah, I just had a lot of Pepsi bef before I started. There you go. That's episode two done. And, uh... Alright. I think the next mission's really fun. I think the next mission, all we have to do is run around with a machine gun, if I'm not mistaken. Don't do... Well, thank you, D-Wayne. I appreciate it. I'm glad you care about my health more than I do. John Thomas says shoot them in the head. Well, they're moving all over the place. They're not always easy to shoot in the head. Resident Evil Resident Everyone always acting like this is easy. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. And stories of their resurrection are true. Oh, hey, we have to walk through the snow in this game too, Dion. Does that mean I'm boring? Answer very carefully. <laughs> oh, gosh. Took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No, I, I, don't, I don't like the episode struck, uh, episodic structure of this, to be honest. I, I I don't know. What do you got? I think it works. Ricky Rage level one. Yeah, it's not that high yet. I'm in a pretty good mood today, guys. You make sure it stays that way, all right? As I said, I'm hoping I can get at least about two or two and a half hours into this today. And then we'll do part two, like, after I've had some more practice. So, I am going to do my absolute best to finish this for you guys. I haven't beat this before. The furthest I got in was about three or four hours, Daniel. There you go. So, this is one year ago. So, this is back when the city was still alive. Oh, look. we got a daywalker over here. Hey, we got Sodash Gaming back in the business. We got Jose in here. Still Amanda says we want a one good one coin only birthday party. Well, as I said, we're not going to do anything too crazy or flashy. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a double beat it or eat it to celebrate the birthday. And uh, I, I, might, I, might, I, might, I might see if I can look. As I said, less is more. You know, I, I, I don't want to outdo myself this year because we need to have the big birthday celebrations for, like, the 5 and 10 year anniversaries. So, I, 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 I need to leave some room to... Yeah, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe I'm not making sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to set the bar too high because we've got some big, big anniversaries coming up in the future. Jeremy says Raw was decent. Anyone else watch Monday Night Raw? Okay, so this is actually a really, really fun mission. This is just a shooty, shooty mission today. Make sure they reach the heliport. Fine. Parker, started. That's disgusting, Matt. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, Matt? What? What the hell, bro? I know it's beat it or eat it, but even I've got freaking standards. What the hell? Bro, you and I are not friends anymore. 
Matt, Matt says if I lose beer or eat it instead of a birthday cake, I need to eat a urinal cake. I, I hope it's not a used urinal cake. You didn't like the ending to it. Raw's is terrible right now because I can't handle the empty arena shows, man. Open fire. I don't think the two of us will be enough. We want to make oh, hello. Be. So this is just a shooty shooty level. There's no like. You just, basically, this is all about strategically conserving your ammo, this one. So I'm just trying to use my handgun early. And then we can start using the shotgun. Oh, shit balls. We need to get the shotgun from here somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Man, Hunter's... Oh, brah. I'm a terrible shot. There you go. I'm going to shoot him in his little lizard penis. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, good on you, Johnny. Yeah, man, you can add them as future clips and everything. I'm glad it's all going well, man. Oh, okay, I'm out. Oh, shit. Okay, get up, one coin. Okay, I ran out of handgun. Ammo. Oh, shit, what are you doing, one coin? Boy. WWE is not enjoyable right now. And as I said, I don't blame I don't blame WWE for that. Like it's just with the circumstances, but I don't know. I mean, obviously this. Yeah. Well, obviously with everything going on in the world right now, I'm not really making that my priority either. Oh, we got him. Cool. You did the randomizer. You did, so tell me a bit more about what you did with the randomizer today, Johnny. And uh, guys, I just want to say a big thank you for being patient in the comments. This game is a little bit more full on. Oh my gosh. As I said, I know we have to find a shotgun in this level. I just can't remember where it is. Just like literally looking everywhere. Just going to check this whole bottom floor quickly. That takes care of that. I, I, think, I don't think they need a green screen or crowd, but I think crowd noise would definitely be handy. Like, artificial crowd noise. Like, yeah. You know, you just need the atmosphere. Like, right now you can hear a pin drop. It's just, you'd think they'd do something about that by now. Alright, let's just go up here. Hopefully the shotgun's in the next area. Wait, did I just miss something? Eh, whatever. <clears throat> Go, Rick, get those sunbishes. I'm trying, Joey, I'm trying. I guess trying's not good enough, huh? Oh, yeah, I haven't seen... No no spoilers, Mikey, because I'm still going to watch the highlights, but, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, so no, no, no spoilers, dude. As I said, I still catch the highlights of the wrestling shows. I just don't watch it, like, the full thing anymore. Oh, fuckity! Oh, we got him. Surprise! Jeez, man. So which Resident Evil monster uh, annoys me the most? Uh, I think the Lickers, because the Lickers are a little bit more agile and they can climb on the roof, and I think they're a little bit harder to hit. So I think I dislike the Lickers more than the Hunters, although the Hunters are annoying because they can sometimes kill you in one hit. So they're both pretty annoying, but I think the Lickers are a little bit more annoying than the Hunters. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, like, I'm like Amanda. I think the Lickers are definitely more annoying. What about you guys? How do you feel about you think, oh, okay. Well, I don't want to poke too much fun because, you know, that's a pretty serious illness. And I really hope they have a cure for that one day. Hang on, is there anything over here we can look for first? Okay, there's not. Okay, my bad. It's, it's pretty linear. You, th you think the list... Yeah, well, they do a little bit. Oh, fuckity! As I said, I really hope we get the shotgun soon. Man, I love this level because it's just all shooty shooty. Where are you going? You uh, can we jump over? The What's in this room? I'm we're just gonna go over here and get some items quickly first. Oh, there we go. I'm glad we came over here. There's like ammo all over the place. I don't know why there's just like randomly ammo on the ground. Fuck it! There you go. Take that, you lizard dick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you think the frogs are the worst? Oh yeah. Frick. Oh, we got him. 
Okay, I'm just trying to look for this shotgun still. I can't remember where it is. Nemesis is not annoying. He is so much fun. Uh, I think the ne Nemi can be annoying. I think he's definitely... Oh, here we go. We finally got it. I think Nemesis is definitely really annoying in... Uh, in uh, Resident Evil 3 Original. The remake, not so much. Oh, what's in here? Just looking for some more shoddy ammo. Patrick, thank you very much. Patrick dropping the big 100 stars. Appreciate you, Patty. I'm going to be right with you. Okay, you can read that all in your own time. I'm just going to pick this up over here. Ah, I see, I see, John. Okay, how long did that end up taking you? Alright, Patrick, I'm just going to do a thank you screen here for Patty. Let's make sure I don't get lost, because it's a little bit of a twisty, twisty room. Fuckity! Oh my goodness. Take that, you hunter, some bish. Shoot him in his little lizard dick. There you go, see you later. <laughs> how about Operate? Oh yeah, that wasn't a very good game, was it? And no, actually, Operation Raccoon City was there. Eh. There was a game, uh, Umbrella Corp. I think that's probably the worst Resident Evil game now that you bring it up. Um, Josh, this is going out to you, my man. Get off my tank. Shit, Marta. And sorry, not Josh. I meant Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. Patrick, that was for you. Thank you, brother. I'm talking too quick that I'm now getting the wrong uh, words come out of my mouth. Patrick, thank you so much. We got Earl in here. Good to see you. I hope you don't think I hope you don't think I'm being a bad host today, guys. I'm honestly doing my best. And you, you some bitches like, well, Rick, you know what? Your best ain't fucking good enough anymore. We're gonna go to another streamer, and then you're gonna hurt my feelings, and I'm gonna cry. You know, you don't want to see a grown 39-year-old uh, man cry here over uh, such trivial things. It's it's embarrassing. <laughs> Resistance is a bloody tra uh. I mean, I, uh, I... I think Umbrella Corps is the worst, actually. Technically, that was a spin-off, though, wasn't it? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I, I downloaded Umbrella Corps for $5 during the Easter sale, I think it was. And I tried it for, like, 10 minutes, and I'm like, yep, now I know why this was only $5. <laughs> oh, thank you, Louie. I appreciate ya. I'm, um... There we go, we almost got these suckers. Big thank you again for hanging around, guys. Don't forget to smash the like, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. It's all we ask. Get back over here. Alright, let's get in this room. Um, anything down there that we need right now? Not as of yet. Uh... Go on that. You need to get to the sixth floor. All right, well, let's do that. Oh my goodness, Mikey. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite that bad. Jeez, man. What 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 kind of society have we become? <laughs> we cry when we're locked out of our iPhones. Jeez, man. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do, Maddie. Yep. Yeah. I haven't done Code Veronica original, uh, but as I said, that's a that's a D Wayne game. That, that's definitely a D-Wayne game. Uh, what we got? Alright, we got some grenades over here. We're going to try and have to use them when we can. No, that's okay, Veronica. Veronica, this is fun. As I said, I, I enjoy this for what it is. I'm so happy that we've gotten in nearly an hour and a half and I'm not stuck yet. Could could be a lot worse. Despite six game overs, you beat the game in under three hours. Yeah, good on you, John. got him. Oh boy, there's another one. Seriously, they really need to do a pest control. I guess we are the pest control today. Jeez, I, I tell you what, I want to be getting paid overtime for this, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's a good turnout today, man. DD Wayne and myself with a good tag team effort today. I always love Arcade Mondays with D Wayne. That's a... And I tell you what, you you, you really killed that Spider-Man game. I, I lose like 50 million lives when I play that one. I I, 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 I used to sometimes play Spider-Man Arcade for everybody, but I always did it under duress because I was always so bad at it. 
gonna go uh are the puzzles in part two are pretty annoying you think we which game's that Edma? do you melee monsters okay, in this you can't really I mean there's like what sometimes you'll get a quick time event in this where you can press the X button in melee but you, you don't get the opportunity too much nightmare says you rented operation raccoon city once you took it back immediately I didn't have a problem with the game Operation uh, Raccoon City, but the controls were freaking horrible. Like, uh, the, the, the controls in Operation Raccoon City were not tight at all. It was really, really hard to play that game. Oh, where are we going to go now? So you're going to go to bed? No worries, Cap. We'll see you again next time, hey? Thank you for hanging out with us. Alright, so we got this little survival run about to come... Oh, let me just, um... Oh, so we got to call this elevator and we got to survive for about another five... Alright, here we go. So we got like a really, really hard, uh... You know, I might use a handgun for a little bit and save all the good ammo. So now we got to do a survival run down here. Damn, come on! So we got to sh shoot here. about 50 million hunters while we wait for the elevator. Yeah, they do kind of look a bit more like gremlins, don't they, Mikey? I was actually going to stream Operation Raccoon City for you guys, but as I said, I couldn't get used to the... Oh, fuck it, ooh! Alright, well, we're not using that gun anymore. Jeez, that wasn't a good idea, Rick. Jeez. Don't bring a pistol to a hunter fight, Rip. Fuck off! My fuck it, ooh! But yeah, you reload that gun, you little sumbish. Oh, my gosh. Where's this ammo at? Bro, I need the shotgun. I'm gonna go over here and get this. Man, this is a hard area. <laughs> where, where are these jerk? Oh, hello. Boom. How do you like that one, lizard bish? Oh, fuck. Stop hopping around like a hoppy hoppy thing. Boom. How do you like that? Got you in your little lizard penis. Now what? Yeah, Batman was hard. You know, it's a real shame because you, you do the first couple levels in the Batman arcade game and it's really, really fun because it's got really good graphics, you know, kind of got like those digitized graphics. And then you get up to the platforming sections after the Batmobile level and it, yeah, it's balls. It's really, really balls. How many levels did you get in? Did you, did you manage to do a couple? I wish I wish I could have started uh, joined the start of the stream, but I'm I'm always sleeping at that time now. Oh, we got uh, oh, we got him. All right, now what? You want to see? You want to be Nemesis to punch a hunter? You want to see that mofo fly? I mean, if anyone could do it, it's definitely Nemi, right? All right, we, we might need the Barkadoo. Get up! What are you doing, you little sumbish? Oh my gosh! It's a freaking li oh yeah, let's get in that freaking elevator, mate. Fuck it, get out of here! Fuck, get out of my elevator, some bit. My gosh, what are you doing, fuckers? Get out, fuck it, oh my gosh, get out of my elevator, pricks! Ah! Oh my gosh, there's too many of these fuckers in here. Fuck off, you fuckers! Ah! God darn it! Where's my? Oh my gosh, where's my shotgun? Boom! Fuck off! My gosh, brah! There you go, take- oh my- Jeez! Can we leave now? Can I press the button? Jeez! Oh, that was too much. Far out, man. That's a walking anxiety attack. <laughs> Must be hunter season. Bro, they're like banging like rabbits right now. Solar energy oh my god! <laughs> yes. they, they they multi they multiply like bunny rabbits, eh? Get out of my elevator, shit bird! So so where do we go? Is there like a, we're just waiting for this to go up? I need to reload this uh, machine gun quickly. Jeez, this must be a tall building. Head for the heliport. All right. Well, here you go. Probably gonna get stopped by another hunter on the way. <laughs> yeah, fucking e. It's a good job. There we go. We're out of here. Okay, ladies first. Oh 
boy, what a nuts level that is. Guys, don't forget we've got Commodore 64 Brannigan in here as well. Good to see you, Commo. Yeah, Pat says they're all over me. Don't I know it? If they're any closer to me, Patrick, I'd be expecting in nine months. <sighs> they, so Miss Violence says they thought you had snacks, Rick. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, we got to the chop. We did. We did good. So we're, we're, I think we're about to go back to the boat next, if I'm not mistaken. Or do we have to do a Chris mission first? I can't remember. Miss Wylan says they can smell all the Tim Tams. Is this game making me see? Yeah, it's, 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 it's grinding my gears a little bit, guys. How you going, Brian? Good to see you. We've got some harder sections coming up now. I'm not going to lie, and I know I'm not experienced at this game, but I've played a lot of Resi games, and I'm playing this on the casual difficulty, and I still find it to be a really big challenge. That was the same, actually, with Resident Evil 7, to tell you the truth. I mean, I struggle on any difficulty apart from casual on that one, too. I, I can beat Resident Evil 7 on the regular difficulty, but it's a headache. Hey, we got Captain BS here. Good to see you, Captain BS. Doing all right, man. We're just doing some Resi revelations today. We came to help. I did nothing. And don't forget, after we're done with part one, we're going to come on with a late night as well. All right, there we go. Let's see what. So we're not doing so bad. I mean, we got an, we're getting an S rating here, I guess. Alright, let's go do the next mission. Good night to you too, Andy. Have a great sleep, my friend. Thank you so much for coming in. And guys, I just want to also uh, say a big hello to all our new followers in here. Welcome them to OneCoin only. We stream every single day from 7pm to late, guys. We do all sorts of retro and new school stuff. BSAA. A little too nah, late. I hate Zero. Absolutely hate BSAA. Zero. Resident Evil Zero is a D Wayne game. I don't have to answer anything. Brett says, "What's the uh, what's the Aussie word of the day? What can be the Aussie word of the day?" Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Oh, uh, Raymond, we, um... stop right there. Okay, I've got an Aussie word of the day. You, get your hands you better keep your nose clean, mate. Otherwise, you're gonna have the wallopers after you. That's a bit of an old generation name. But if you're doing something wrong, or you're getting up to no good, so if someone says the wallopers are coming after you, it means that the police are coming to get you. So that's like, uh, walloper is an old generation word in Australia for police. That was the first word that came to my head, wallopers. Not many Aussies use that word anymore, that's, as I said, an old generation name. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go back over here. Oh gosh, alright, back, back to Jill. Yeah, I, I, I can't do zero. Alright, so let's just go through all these doors. What's in this one? This is an elevator we need to activate later, I guess. You stop playing Resident Evil games after number four? Oh, it's not working. Well, that's no good. Rebecca and Billy Rule? Yeah, zero. I hate, I hate the... Inv to be honest, I absolutely how much inventory management you have to worry about in uh, Resident Evil uh, Zero and One Remake. I, I just thought the inventory management system absolutely sucked. So what's this button do? There's a safe with a card reader. I guess we have to come back here later. That's no problem. Let's make sure we do a scan and get all the weapons that we can. Looks like we got everything in this room. Hey, go on there, Nick. Oh no, it's the same. Same. Okay, no, sorry, Nick. My bad. It was the other Nick. <clears throat> Nick's already been watching. Como's just saying hello to him for the first time today. I'm getting so confused. <sighs> we got Timmy in here. Good to see you. We also got Jan in here. Thank you for coming in, guys. Appreciate you. How you all doing? 
Timmy dropping a big 200 stars as well. Timmy, I'm going to be right with you, my brother. Thank you again. You can read that all in your own time. We're not here to read storybooks today. Ugh. What are we going to give to Timmy today? Timmy, this is for you. Thank you so much for the 200 stars, Timmy. What you doing, sucker? Thank you so much, my man. I've got to ask for an A-team screen, and that's the best one I could come up with. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Oh, there we go. So I don't know if there's anything else in here we need to do. This kind of, you know what, when I use this little thing, this reminds me of Luigi's Mansion. Don't, don't you think? When you use this little thing, it's like I'm trying to find ghosts. Hold on, Jim. There's a map of the ship here. Wait, there's a map of a ship? Hang on, I need to get the map. Oh, I see. Okay. Hey, go on, Tanner. Good to we see you. Find an emergency communication room if we go Do you think the Shipbird's now the number one screen? We should go to the emergency communication room. So, I think maybe this, uh... Can we, can we use this elevator now? It's not working. So how do I get to the... Okay, we're going to go back over here. Yeah, this is, this is where the game starts to get a bit more tricky and you can get lost. But we'll, we'll be okay. We got to find Rain. How do you know him? I used to work with him. There we go, in that. here. Tim says we have a curfew. You still have to go into work. Ah, shit, man. I know things are going absolutely crazy right now. Are, are, are you safe where you're at, Timmy? Timmy, thank you again for the hundred. First of all, are you still are you safe where you're at at the moment, Timmy? And Blake says, "You playing anything else other than this rubbish? You'd rather watch your GMA knit. I don't know what the fuck that is, but uh, man, I tell you what, Blake, if you're going to be negative at a time like this." Shame on you. You're not doing anything positive for the world right now. Shame on you. Shame on you, Blake. Shame on you. We're going to, um... What have we got? Yeah, man. What the, what the hell is wrong with people? Okay, I guess we have to go in here. Yeah, I play it. No, it's alright. I'm not going to try and explain it. I don't think there's anything wrong with the game. I think he just was looking for a reason to be negative, honestly. So which way do we have to go first? Upper cabins, lower cabins. Oh no, we gotta go the upper cabins first and get the shotgun. Oh good, Timmy, I'm relieved. Oh, you'd rather watch your grandma's knitting. Oh, I see. Well, you never know, she might be a professional knitter. Maybe I would rather watch that too. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe I'd prefer to watch her knit. Why do I have to miss out? Can I watch your grandma knit? <laughs> hey, gone, Johnny. Good to see you. Hey, we got Kenneth in here. Good to see you, Sam Blaster Gaming. Hey, Sam Blaster, I'm doing all right. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. I'm not offended, man. And uh, as I said, I'm just trying to remember which room the shotgun's in. Um. Okay, I think it may actually be. No, hang on, is it? Is this the? No, that's the way we came in. Uh, no, okay, no, we're gonna go back over on this side. All right. As I said, we're just trying to find the shotgun, and then we can get the hell out of here. Oh damn it! Oh my gosh, get out, Rick. Um, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. My gosh, man. That big gigantic tongue that's coming out of its mouth is so freaking disgusting, seriously. <laughs> You're definitely close to shotgun, thank you, brother. Rich just dropped a hundred stars. Share the stream, yo! How you going, Rich? Going out to you? I've had some kinky Rich, shit. thank you, my friend. I've tried drugs. I'm broke as shit. I have a judgment against me from some bitch. There you go, a little bit of Tiger King there. Everyone says I need a Carol Braskin screen. Who's going to make me a Carol Braskin screen? Someone, someone can make one for me. <laughs> Just double checking in case there's some ammo here. No. Oh, there we go. We're going to get the shotgun finally. Rich with another 100 stars. Rich, dude. Again. Rich, this is for you. 
Thank you so much, Rich. Much appreciated, sir. One shall stand, one shall fall. Oh, damn, I just got attacked while I was doing your thank you screen. You can't fucking pause for five fucking seconds in this game. Thank you, Rich. Rich with a 200 stars total. You see, so, Petit says I do need that Braskin screen. So, Nightmare13 says he got the complete series of uh, Knight Rider at the Walmart. I'd love to have that, man. I haven't seen that show in... Uh... I used to love Knight Rider back in the day. It's been a number of years since I've seen it. I'm just going to go down to the bottom cabin. Oh, I just shot him in his little zombie dick. Oh, my gosh. Jill, stop reloading in the middle of a gunfight. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, we need to use the herb here. Alright, so we're just going to go down this elevator and go back to the bottom cabins. You need a Men at Work star screen. I actually do have a Men at Work star screen. I just don't have it loaded right now, but I actually do have a Men at Work star screen. You know that, who can it be now? But yeah, I, I did it for Luther because he was joking about that. Anyway, as I, as I said, guys, I know things in the United States aren't great right now. And as I've mentioned before, one more time, my, my email is, is open to you guys. If you need to have a chat or get something off your chest, by all means, send me a private message. Um, I just don't want to talk about it too much on the stream. As I said, I'm, I'm treating one coin only as a safety zone. So, um, yeah, we'll just ease up on it while we're in here, hey? So we're just going to go in here. We're almost out of here, guys. I think I remember where to go. I think this is going to take us to the main dining hall. Oh, no, we can't go in there without a key card. Alright, that's all for later. There's a lot of these key card doors. I am just... The best strategy is sometimes just not to be here. I mean, there's an anchor mark. So what are we going to do? Do we have to go down here? Hey, Carlos, you be the distraction, my friend. You be the distraction. I'm hoping this is the right key. Oh, fantastic. All right, we're out. Get out, Jill, before the zombies eat you. All right, we made it. No, that's okay, Blake. You're all good. Patrick, thank you, dude. That's incredible. Patrick just, drived a, uh, uh, just dropped a big uh, 1,000 stars. Patrick, this is going out to you, my man. Thank you so much. And Patrick, I'm going to give you this one. Ready? Patrick, because you dropped it. All right, here we go. I'm a hunter. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, uh, fun, 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 fun. Bam. 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 I'm a hunter. Everybody party. Yeah, no, I 100% miss violence, and that's why I'm trying to stop people from talking about it. And uh, thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it. You see, that, that was a little bit of an extra special donation, so you got a free dance. <laughs> no worries, Patty. You're coming up to an interesting part. Well, that's always good news. Wait, hang on. What do we need to get in here? Oh, okay, we need to get a key, I think. Are we gonna go the promenade? Deck is next to the hall. All right. So how do I get to the promenade? Do I have to go downstairs? And Timmy says he's off to work. Stars, Timmy, we got a very, very special one for you again. My new favorite screen. This is for you, Timmy. Timmy, have a safe trip. Get off my train, shit bird. <laughs> Timmy, thank you again, man. Let, let us know that you get to work safe, all right? We'll, uh, we'll see you in a little bit, my man. <clears throat> 80s had the best shows. Oh, didn't they what? I loved everything in the 70s and 80s. 70s and 80s was a good time. Is there anything else over here? I'm just trying to... No, there's nothing we need to get. All right, we're going to go in this room. All right, all good. You got some big cojones doing the hot dog dance, Rick. Respect. Hey, man. I mean, as I said, I'm happy to make a fool of myself if it makes you guys happy. 
As I said, you guys need a little bit of entertainment. If that means making a fool of myself for five seconds, what's the big deal? Oh, how good! I think the Airwolf theme is one of the best '80s themes for an action show. Like, man, yeah, man. Once, once you, yeah. Whenever you hear the Airwolf theme, you just get super, super, super hype. There we go. We got this rifle now, which is going to be really handy. So Brett says you're playing Final Fantasy X at the same time. Oh, you guys see my new Final Fantasy X? Thank you, screen. We got a Final Fantasy X thank you screen now. How you going there, Frankie? Good to see you. We got um. Looks like we found so we need to pull out this. Uh... Now you can pretty much get one hit kills. With... Is he dead? See, look at that. You don't even need to shoot them in the head. It's pretty handy. Oh, here we go. Got this sunbish over here. Fuck yeah, man! Jill's a good shot, huh? It's a really good shot. We've got a hard, like, mini-boss coming up real soon. I've got to remember how to beat him. How you going, Adriana? Good to see you. You get the sniper rifle in the pool room. We, we... Oh, there you go. I think you're in a bit of a delay. We got we just got the sniper rifle. Now, if you keep scanning these things and get 100%, you get a free uh, green herb, I think. So you're going to try and keep remembering to take these specimens. I think we're still going the right way here. No, all right, we're good. So Matt says, believe it or not, you're walking in air. Well, that's good. And so Nightmare 13 says, the airwolf theme should totally be... A you know what, we need to do the... Someone remind me in a message. If someone reminds me in a message, I will do the airwolf theme as a thank you screen. That, that We have to. We have to. So someone, someone send me a message and don't let me forget. We'll make it happen. Oh, uh, so this is this is pretty this is, I, I, I I got caught up a little bit last night in this area. Anyway. Oh my gosh, alright, there we go. This thing can kill you in one hit hit you gotta be like really careful. I'm gonna pull out this um Oh shit. Ah, oh, crap! Damn it! Did I get him? Oh, son of a biscuit! You use so much ammo in this bit. Oh, gosh, come on, get him! Come on, get that son of a bitch! Ah, come on! Stop it. Oh, man, I can't get him! Fuck my gosh, man. I, I, I didn't take me... I, I think I've got to lead him to the explosion. I think there's an explosion out here. Oh, I just wait for him to come out. Oh, come on, man. Oh, dude, you're such a bad shot. Oh, fuck it, man. Serious? There you go. Just die. Come on, get that freaking thing. Oh my gosh, finish him. Is he dead yet? Fucking hell, man, that was nuts. I used so way more ammo than I should have. Oh my gosh. Did you clean pool, get more items? For, I don't know what you... Uh, clean the... Uh, son of a bitch. I'm too busy trying not to die, Adriana. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh my goodness. She just decides to reload during... I, mean, I, I hope there's an item that improves reload time, because this is freaking nuts at the moment. There we go. Alright, so far so good. Alright, so I've just got to remember where to go now. Hold up, wait a minute. 
Um, are we going the right way here? A little bit confused. Or are we going backwards? No, we're going back. Okay, here we go. Revelations 2 is called play. I have heard that. I'd like to try that one of these days. Okay, so we're just going to go in here. So Benny says you don't know about this one. I, I don't really have a lot of experience with that. Go find more red ciders, you think? No turning back. Okay, so we are in the new area already. I'm just going to go quickly look in this room quickly, because there's probably some items we missed. Alright, we'll get out of here in a second. Do you customize your weapons? They come in handy. Yes, but you can only customize your weapons when you get to a chest, and we haven't gotten to a chest yet. But uh, I do want to customize some stuff pretty soon. Nightmare13 says you loved watching ALF. I used to love watching ALF. My, my grandmother recorded, like, every episode for me when I was a kid. We need to just quickly go back this way and unlock another door. Yeah, my grandmother used to record every episode for me. As I said, I'm, I'm not going to hang around for too long, guys. Just trying to make... See, weapon... You know, just like in any other Resident Evil, we ammo is a very precious commodity in this one. We just got to unlock this door. And I don't think we need to go this way yet. I'm just making sure everything's sorted. Yes. Alright. You played this game and passed it on the 3DS? Well, good on you, man. Dead, Dead Tree Project says your assistant at work talks like Alf. That'd be amusing every day, wouldn't it? I don't know where I'm supposed to go yet. Uh, I think we're going the right way. You guys are perving on Jill. We got some thirsty motherfuckers in here. <laughs> It's all right. I mean, it's there to be looked at, isn't it? It's there to be looked at. No, I mean, if I mean, admiring the, admiring the view of this is one of the perks. I, I think we're going back the right way. I'm hoping so. I hope the equipment in that room will work. Don't jinx us now. Your bad predictions tend to come true. I think. I think. Uh, yeah. Now I think we're going to go back to the other side. Go back. Yeah, I think we're going the right way, Andrew. It's just we have to go all the way back to the other side of the boat, and it just—it's just, just time-consuming. I think we're going the right way. Yeah. See, the, we're just going to go up on the next floor. You used to have a plush elf that talked. I had that too. My grandmother bought that for me. I—I I had the talking elf doll as well. Like you press it in the bell belly, and he'd say things like, "How about a hug for the old elf?" You know, and, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, I had the same doll. Raymond. Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? Huh. Don't forget to smash that like button, everybody. Really, really helps us out if you can. Thank you. Only cost of entry. Don't forget, the more engagement we get with, like, comments and thumbs up and everything, the more one coin only grows. We can't do it without you. <clears throat> and uh, Mike says, The Airwolf theme sounds like Bloody Wolf. You're totally in when playing Bloody Wolf, POW, and Rambo 3. You see, I love all those old arcade action games. Rambo 3 was a good one, too. I haven't streamed Bloody Wolf on the channel before. That would make a pretty good bonus game, actually. Like, after a Metal Slug or something. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the T-Abyss virus, and we're equipped to infect one-fifth of the Earth's waters. Is that Conan O'Brien? It looks a little bit like Conan, doesn't it? <laughs> now, guys, I'm not 100% sure how far I'm going to get into this today. Uh, my goal's at least two hours. Um, I wanted to get more than that. I did start practicing this last night, which is why we haven't gotten stuck yet. But I only had so much time to practice. So I'll make sure I'm organized for part two once we're done. Um, don't forget, when part one is done, guys, we are going to have a small break and then come back with a late night stream. So don't, don't go too far away. We are Vengeful messengers from the depths of the Inferno. 
So this is our man. I knew it was Veltro. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. Send a team to Valcoin and Mach Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quint and Keith. That looks like what? Goose drinking coffee. You too. Get ready to you, think, you think it looks like Bill Murray? Snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. Hey guys, we got Jesus in here as well. Good to see you, Jesus. Thank you for coming by. Colin says you might have to build a time machine for going back to the 80s. Was just like a big lake. Oh, man, don't don't you think if there was such thing as time travel, we would have met a time traveler by now? That's something to think about. If there was such thing as time travel, why have we not spoken to a, a time traveler? There's this interesting video. Uh, from like a photo from back in the late 80s or early 90s that's got like a Mike Tyson fight and it looks like someone's in the crowd holding up a mobile phone um, I don't know if you've ever seen that photo but it's it's pretty interesting like you know th there's conspiracy theorists that try to say that there's evidence of time travel I kind of call bullshit on it myself hey go and see car you say goodbye I say hello oh, oh you got that song stuck in your head I gotcha who sung that song again? Good to see you, Seeker. Thank you for coming in. The Levente says, Hi, one coin only. How are you doing? Good to see you here, but seriously, why do you wear that martial arts bandana? Guys, do you not realize that if you want to be an entertainer and recognized by the public, you can't be normal? Everyone needs to have a trademark. If, you, if you're going to make it as an entertainer in life, you have to be somewhat flamboyant. And people aren't going to recognize who you are if you look like everybody else. So this is my trademark, my friend. Everyone's like, why are you doing that? Oh, it looks fucking terrible. Well, you don't have to wear it, do ya? Oh, you think that's what it is, Como? Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope. He's quoting Dante. Leventi oh, says, Peter, yeah. I used to get a hard time for it when I DJ too, because most of my DJ career I was DJing with a headband as well. And everyone was like, why are you doing that for, Rick? You know, it looks pretty stupid. Yeah, but everyone knows who's DJing when I've got the thing on, don't they? <laughs> I used to always cop it my whole life. It's like... Well, why are people so worried about someone when it's got nothing to do with them? I, I never got it, you know? Why are you doing that for? We got a song here in Australia, it's like, My body's nobody's body but mine. You have your own body, let me have mine. My body's made to blow up a balloon. I can eat, kiss, and spit. I can whistle a tune. My body's nobody's body but mine. You have your own body, let me have mine. There you go, I remember that from primary school. <laughs> Jill, look at this. I, 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 sung, I, sung, I sung the body song. Running on emergency power. But the comm system needs the main Let's power. see what we're gonna do in here. I don't know where to go now. Yeah, good, no worries, okay. Gavin, you have yourself a good one. So, so uh, yeah, I, I find it weird to stream without it on. Absolutely, I do sometimes. Captain BS says that was a cool song back in the day. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, we're just going to find our way out of here. Oh, we're going to talk to the Red Nut. What's this key now? Turning on the power won't be easy. All right, so we got ourselves an iron anchor key. So now we need to open the anchor doors. So we're gonna go to the casino on the first floor. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so how do we get back to the first floor? Do we have to go in this door, maybe? Let's try this. We're gonna try and get downstairs. Alright. 
<laughs> Am I gonna stream Revelations? Uh, head for the. Hang on one second. Am I gonna. No, I'm not supposed to go down that way. I, I might do Revelations eventually. Uh, it, it, either me or D Wayne will do the second one. Try, trying to find a way down these stairs. Bear with me for a second. So, Brian says, What's the biggest audience I've ever had? Uh, I think about 950 for me. Yeah, I think I think my record's 950. But that was like a, a some kind of crazy fluke. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta have them, huh? Oh, there we go. We found the door. I was getting a little bit lost here. Don't mind me. Yeah, not about 950. About a year and a half ago, actually, is still my record. Hey, going, Alex? Good to see you. My, my, I've got two records, one for most lives and one for most views. Um, my most uh, lives was for Super Mario Land 2. I had about 950. And my most total views was for... Um, uh, for Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. And I got about um, 70,000 for that. The power is out. So how do we do this puzzle again? Alright. I think we gotta turn the power on. Oh, here we go. We gotta turn this on. What are they gonna do with Nia Jax? <laughs> Alright, so I can't remember how to get this thing in here. Does anyone remember how to do this thing over here? Can I shoot these fish, by the way? Can you shoot the fish? You can't shoot the fish. Alright. I know the money that we need. So what's this? Another ammo pack? I think we're gonna play with this slot machine to get some coins. Or maybe, where do we get the coin from again? Hmm. Is there a coin in, I can't remember where we get the coin from. Maybe we just need to do a scan. Maybe we must have to get the coin from uh, in here. Okay, we're gonna press this button. So yeah, oh, we're gonna get that coin to play the slot machine. Shit, it's been infected. Watch out. Oh, okay. That's no good, is it? Oh, maybe not that gun. Oh gosh. Freaky. Oh, we got him. Is that all of them? Yeah, we, we're fine. So, so what's this? Finally quieted down a little. Uh, so, so how do we go in here? Jill, you see something? Where? I can't see anything. Where did it go? Oh, over here. There's the coin. Okay, I got it. So now we're going to play the slot machine. Okay, we're almost out of here. So what we need to do is we need to do the get the coins out of this, and then we're going to do the coin puzzle. So, I can get more coins with is this it. available in the PlayStation Store? Absolutely. And if you wait for a sale, Joey, it's actually really uh, cheap. <laughs> I'm just going to keep playing this until we win, I think. <laughs> keep going, Rick Dog. We'll get it. Come on. Boom! <clears throat> That's enough of that. Okay, so we got the coins, and now we're going to do this puzzle. And I've got the solution here. It's uh, nine bronze, three silver, one gold. We're going to get the right weight here to get through. Nine, nine bronze, three silver, one gold. There we go. Alright, cool. That puzzle's not too difficult. Uh, the, the, the birthday's tomorrow, Seeker. So for, t for our one coin only birthday, we're going to be doing double beat it or eat it, guys. And I don't know if I've, I'm going to have the chance to plan anything else yet, but uh, I might surprise you. I'll see how we go. <laughs> okay, so I, okay, so I don't... This is where I got up... This is like... So last night when I was practicing, 
Uh, this is exactly where I got up to. So it's from here on in that I'm going to be a little bit stuck. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go for as long as I can here and then I'll save the rest for part two. But uh, so far, so good. Oh, thank you, Kyle. Much love to you, man. As I said, one coin only is nothing without the Sumbish army, so thank you for making three years possible. A big shout-out once again to Alex and Katie. Always good to have you here. And, uh, alright, let's have a look around. Here's ease. Here's the lift. Okay, so we got to get in here. What's this one? Here's a lift. You hope it still works? Yeah, me too. Should, um, I wonder if we should go in these doors first. Can we, can we even open this up? There, there might be some items over here that we, we need to check out before we go. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate you, my man. We, we, we all work really hard to make it so. Can, can we even use this elevator? I'll look for it on my end. Search for the key for the lift. Joey says, happy early birthday in case you don't get a chance tomorrow to see you guys. Joey, I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, bro, we're going to have a good day, man. And, um, it's all good. I know you've got places to see and things to do. I, I appreciate the thought, my friend. That should just work. Oh, okay, there we go. Why is it? There we go. That's how you do it. Can we, can we call the elevator yet? Okay, so we don't need to go in there yet. I'm just going to go back this way first. So Joey dropping the big 500 stars. What can we give to Joey? I'm going to give you a couple, Joey. As I said, thank you for your patience today, guys. It's a little bit harder to concentrate on these type of games. You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. Yeah, I, I would love it if Weird Al Yankovic sung us a song one day. That'd be absolutely freaking awesome. That, that'd be so cool. Wait, do we not... What's going on over here? The key is missing. Ah, oh, okay, so what about this? No resp... Okay, so no, we, we have to go back the way we came after all. That was pretty stupid, wasn't it? Here's one coin only getting ahead of himself, and he was actually right. <laughs> Thank you so much once again, Joey. Okay, so we do have to take this list lift. My bad. Thank you, Alex. Much love to you, my man. I'm going to make a little thank you video tonight for you guys. Just a quick little thank you video. <clears throat> And so Jason says, can you sing me a song? For the love of God, please don't. I think I might have an idea where she is. Did you see what? Yeah, he'd be passed away a couple months ago. It's a real shame. Life's precious, my friend. You never know when your time's up, eh? Not, not wanting to talk about anything negative in here, of course, but... Could have made the most of all the time that you got. Okay, just get out of here. We, we don't need to hang around any longer. Okay, no, that's not the right way. So this is pretty much back to the beginning, and we're just going to find some doors we haven't used yet. Oh, boy. Can I sing Do You Want to Build a Snowman? I would rather not. <laughs> Maybe you can sing it for me. else we got so Alex says you'll be right back the dogs are barking yeah you probably don't want that to happen this time of night you get in trouble let's just see if there's anything in here we can find quickly C can we open this door I thought oh shit okay all right cool just gonna make sure we get all the parts this is where I found the that dummy of Chris. Where is the real So Lawrence says, how am I liking this game? I'm really, really enjoying this Resi, to be honest. As I said, I'm not as, uh... You know, as I said, it's a little bit harder for me, just because when I play the other Resi games, it's more muscle memory. 
Um, but, uh, you know, I have the least experience with this one, so I'm kind of learning a few things on the fly. But I think we're doing alright. I, I don't think we're doing too bad for a beginner here today. I, I managed to survive for two hours. That's a positive thing. As I said, I'm going to practice for part two um, behind the scenes for you guys. I'm sure we've got a couple, like, easy, more action-orientated levels coming up as well, which will be a bit more forgiving. Oh, fuckity. No, we're not hanging around. Oh, gosh, man. I think we're going to go back down with the, the, the dead girl with the big boobs. Oh, hang on. This is a door we haven't been in yet. And, uh... Oh, what do you got over here? Oh, come on. Alright, cool. How about you guys? How do you like this, Rezzy? Are you enjoying it, or are you kind of like... Okay, now we can upgrade our guns. Actually, no, I'm going to just quickly... Okay, I'm just going to quickly put some things away. Alright, so... Okay, hang on. I, I, I need... Ah, uh, fuckity! Excuse me! I'm just going to put that away for now. Let me just get this out. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go back to... Alright, this gun. Alright, so I need to do a couple things here. I just need to do some adjustments. Alright, so... Got this gun, this gun, this gun. That's what I want. So let's just upgrade uh, damage plus two. Long magazine. All right, we're going to go back over here. All right, let's try this one here. See what we can add to this. Fantastic. So we've just upgraded our guns, guys. Hey, go on, Bian. Good to see you. Pretty happy with that. It's all falling into place now. Sean says you like Revelations 1. You almost beat it, but you didn't. It's all right, man. You can give it another crack in the future, huh? There you go. I'm glad that we got some upgraded guns here now. We might actually be able to do some damage, huh? I think this is the right way. we are just going to look for the little flashy, flashy thing. All right, there we go. So far, so good. Okay, it was around here. So we're gonna go. There was like a dead girl. Oh, she's her body's gone now. All right. Timmy says he made it to work safe. It's quite over here. Good to see you back, Timmy. Timmy, this is going out to you, my man. Welcome back to the stream. So you're gonna find a place to nap. <laughs> Timmy always looking for a place to nap. Thank you, man. Hey, I, I, as I said, I've been there and done that for a small amount of time while I was uh, working at McDonald's. I had to fill in for the janitor for about six weeks. And uh, I would do all my work early, cover the camera and nap for two hours. And so would my roommate, because my roommate had to do it for a bit. Colin says it looks like a good game. Yeah, man, I'm enjoying it. I found the target, but she's a zombie. Isn't that always the yeah, it case? is. So now where are we gonna go? Let me pull up here. Which is this? Uh, what's a map button? Where's where's the map? Oh, here we go. It's not telling us where we need to go yet. Actually, usually usually it comes up with where you need to be on the. Yeah, there's no marker. Okay, I don't know where we have to go yet. It's probably gonna come up in a minute. No idea where we need to go yet. Guess we're just gonna go all the way back up the way we came. <clears throat> When's a double beat it or eat it? Tomorrow, bro. The, the usual day for beat it or eat it. Ch uh, Tuesdays. So tomorrow, starting at 10 p.m., going all night. We're gonna do the first one's gonna be the wheels. Second one's gonna be oh fuckity. Second one's gonna be a single game. 
Well, she she was looking a lot hotter before she mutated. Oh my gosh! Come on, Jill, get out of there. She was looking a lot hotter before she mutated. Where you going, bitch? Don't you run away from me? Oh boy. Where are you going? Oh, she's gone. She's in the ducks. Go after her. She could have the key. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was trying to practice the Outbreak ga break games for you, Nightmare, to stream them. And, um... Yeah. I was trying to practice the Outbreak games. And they, they just had terrible loading times. Oh, we got him. No, no, that's okay, Chris. No, I appreciate you. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound like I was impatient or anything. I was just a little bit stressed out. Yeah, no, nah, at 10pm until late, brother. Um, you think we're gonna get a Revelations 3? I think if they did a Revelations 3 now, the graphics would be so much better. That's what we need. Damn it, she's, she's come back. My god. Where are you going? Crazy bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm running out of bullets now. Oh, I did not realize it was originally going to be Revelation. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, that's that's cool, I guess. Wow, one shot death. That doesn't happen too often. I can't believe she turned so quickly. This virus is more Oh my gosh, she's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Crazy bitch is back. Tell a friend. Oh my gosh, brah. Fuck it, dude. Man, she's nuts! It's like she thinks I've got non-stop ammo. God, I need to pull out the hand. <laughs> oh, crazy. I want to do Outbreak, James, but the, the, the load times kill it for me. I feel like the load times go for way too long. But I'll, I'll give it another chance and, and, and see my own time. How you going, Salem? Good to see you back in here. Alright, so... Oh my god! Bro! Alright, sister. Oh, damn it. Oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. Is she gonna come back in or what? I've literally, like, used every bit of ammo I've got here. Oh man, and they got the other zombie behind me too. Come on, J Oh my gosh, fuck it! Get out of there, Jill! Fuck it! Oh my gosh, it's so claustrophobic in here. Do I have the shot? Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck it, man! Yeah, can you, like, not reload in the middle of a freaking zombie fight? This is insane. <laughs> I've never been this far before. This is the furthest I got last time I played. So, this is all new for me. I just need to look for more bullets, guys, because I'm running really low. Wait, what was that? What's this? In the, okay, I can't really do anything in there right now. Oh, here we go. There's some more bullets over here. Rifle ammo. That's full. Okay, I think we're just going to go out. Yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about the storyline. I'm still getting my head around it. As I said, my comprehension skills are not the best. Is, is that fish face again? No, oh, thankfully. Oh, now, now, now he comes and helps. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's just got a butt that won't quit. <laughs> Ricky, what do you think if Jill and Claire joined up with Chris Leon and Barry? Oh, I think you'd have like the new and improved uh, Power Rangers, my friend. Oh my goodness. 
boy. Crazy. Oh my gosh, brah. Oh my god. Oh, it's so claustrophobic. I don't know what this this guy is using to help us. I think he's. Oh my god. I think he's only got a BB gun. Hey. This is nuts, dude. He's like using a beat. This pistol's freaking hopeless. Oh my gosh, come on, Jill. Oh boy. Oh boy. At least Lisa got the dodge mechanic improved. Come on, Rick. Running out of handgun bullets too. What am I gonna do when that happens? Oh my gosh! There's a dude, some bitch. Fucking die, assholes! Oh, he's dead. Fuck it, man. Are they, are they just respawning constantly, or what? Oh, did we got her? Oh no, she's still going, dude. Oh my gosh. Give me one second here, guys. This is just too much. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> I don't have the knife, Tyler. If I had a knife, I'd use a freaking knife. Oh my gosh. Freaking crazy. What did we get? We got the lift key. Alright, well, we can go back to where we were. Son of a bitch. Now I need to find some bullets. Hang on. Just keep looking. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly go over here and pick him up. I have to go from that side. Alright, that's fine. That was... Hey, Clifford, good to see you still in here, man. Yeah, you, 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 you no kidding. Alright, we got some more shoddy shells at least. She, so Mike says she just won't die, man. That was definitely something else, wasn't it? Um, there's nothing over here we can use right now. So I think all we need to do is go back in this lift. You love how I say knife? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what could I say? Us Aussies have a way with words, huh? Oh no, she's not back, is she? She better freaking not be. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. I'm done. <laughs> Miss says you haven't seen this resi before and you're really enjoying it. I'm glad you I'm glad you are. Oh uh, yeah, I scanned the monster already, didn't you see? I scanned the monster, didn't I? Hey going, cross eyed bear gamer, thank you for coming in. Welcome to the stream. And Mikey says, what's good? Good to see you, Mikey. I'm doing pretty good, thank you, Mike. This is for you. Mikey, everything's all good, man. We're just doing some revelations at the moment. Gonna try and maybe do... Try and at least do one more episode after this. And uh, we'll see how we go. This has been a long one, hasn't it? Alright, we can leave. Hear something. I'm probably gonna come on with some retro stuff for the late night, guys. So if you're still awake and you want to have some retro goodies, I was gonna do Cuphead in the ABGN game, but I might leave that for uh, later in the week. Uh, episode four: A Nightmare Revisited. Oh, that's all done. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start... Uh, I really need to pee, but I'm going to try and hold it in for a bit. Because I'm a hero. <laughs> As I said, I've been drinking so much water today, it just wants to go straight out. Uh, hopefully we've got one of these action levels now. Like, the survival horror levels are really good. Okay, here we go. I'll be right back. Ah, damn it! I just knocked myself over. 
one-fifth of the Earth's waters. Damn terrorists. Now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grecia. And vengeance. Raymond! That corpse you ran into earlier? Send a team to Valcoin and Mock Airport. Look for something linked to this ship. I'll send Quinn and Keith. Uh, I hate Snow. Snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. No, you can't hear no fart. I wasn't farting, guys. What are you talking about? There's a couple times that I have on stream and hoped you haven't heard it, but that today wasn't one of those days. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, thank you, Lauren. I appreciate it. I mean, if you like this, we'll, I'll, um, I'll put this in our lineup. You, if you guys seem to enjoy this, it gives us another Resi Resident Evil game to play. Okay, so we, we might do this episode and then we'll leave this at part one. This is Forkball. Good job. Get the lay of the surroundings and continue with your mission. So, uh, how do you want us to proceed, I'm guessing this is just an action level. Let her rip potato chip. I've, I've never ever been this far before. What took you two so long? At least we're here. What's up with Veltra? Not sure. So we Josh says you played thing. Fight Night all day. You love you some boxing. I want to do some Fight Night again really soon. I, I like to play Fight Night monthly. I, I actually almost played Fight Night today, but it's already it's been pretty recent since we last did the story, so I thought I'd wait a minute. Okay. I might I might play uh, Fight Night in a week or two. But yeah, Fight Fight Night's definitely one of my favorites. So, you follow Justice Thank you, Seeker. I appreciate that. <laughs> Almost. I had her until the very end, but I lost in near the... Hey! You think so here we go. We got Eric in here. Big shout out to Eric from Chicago. Good to see you today, Eric. Thank you for coming in. I can't complain, man. I can't complain. Things are okay. But thank you for looking out. Feels like something's gonna jump out. Oh, so now where we go? So it looks like we've got a machine gun here, which is great. Yeah, I know. Search the hideout. All right, cool. Uh, I might just start with the handgun here because I know we're gonna have to save the decent. Okay, so we do have a scanner with this one. All right. We have to collect bullets as we go. We got a screwdriver. That will come in handy later. Let me just double check up here for items. Come on. Oh, what's this one? More machine gun ammo for later. Alright, we're good. I mean, that's a good start. Oh no, that's okay, Edma. Everything's just going over my head because I'm multitasking. Don't mind me. You know, I, you'd think after three years I'd be better at it by now. Alright, cool. Uh, what else is happening, guys? So, what the hell is up with the size of that headgear? I don't know, man. I mean, they they don't make these things the tick to be fashionable, I guess. You know, they, they, they don't, yeah, they just make them for comfort. They don't make them to look sexy. I guess we're just going to check out one door at a time. Alright, this one first. Oh, there's a lock there. Right, what's in here? Can we open this? Alright, so we've got the screwdriver. Hey, going, Quincy? Good to have you. Thank you for hanging out today. Not, not a whole lot up, Quincy. Just chill banging. Don't forget, guys, I am back on at 9am as well. So if you're heading to bed anytime soon... Um... Yeah, just just a heads up. All right, there we go. We got them all. 
Use the scanner only. There's no enemies in this part. Oh, really? Okay, well, thank you for that. We're just gonna keep... Okay, so we're just gonna keep... Okay. We might be able to open up that area that's been sealed off. Okay, so we, this is going to open up that other door. Eric says, just going to chill with you a bit, mate. Kill sometimes, because... Yeah. It's, 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 it's not good, bro. Hopefully, I mean, that's the whole idea. We're going to distract you. I'm going to be on for another couple hours after this stream, too, so... That's a freighter, ain't it? Is this Veltro or what? Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, no, it looks like we've got more hunters on the look. You're gonna get some. Yeah, no worries, Thomas. We'll see you again tomorrow, man. You take care of yourself, huh? Oh. Thank you for hanging out. They never had a chance. The timestamp places the crash at the same time as the one Chris reported. Is so, so here? Ricky, what's his power level? Like oh, I don't know, man. I, I hope he gets better than Jill because Jill was really, really struggling the last stage. Like she was trying to kill zombies with a BB gun. Huh? We got a live one here. Shh, quiet. Hey. What the hell is that? So Eric says, where am I from? I'm from Aussie, my friend. I, I live in a city called Brisbane. It's the third biggest city in the country. Nice place, very pretty. People are very friendly here. Oh, you can't see it. And, uh, and you know, what I love about Brisbane, it's it's smack bang in between the Sunshine Coast and the Gold Coast. And you've got, like, we're surrounded by two awesome tourist destinations. So it's a, it's a good place to visit. I recommend Brizzy. Some the city Brisbane there. itself is a little bit boring, not because there's not things to do, but I just mean it's there's nothing that you can't do here that you can't do back home. But uh no, it's great. Hey. It's I, I definitely think secure. Brisbane's one of the best places to live in the country, to be honest. And now I'm gonna open this. It looks like a piece of manifesto. Alright, I'm not going to read that. Read that in your own time. There we go. Oh, it looks like we're maxed out in ammo, which is good news. Security token. Now what? It's a security token. As Quincy says, hey Ricky, want to hear a zombie joke? Try me, Quincy. Try me. Whatever that means. Do I have an obstacle course in my room? Bro, I've just got... I don't have any shelving put up yet, so I've just got games and parables, like, falling out of my butt at the moment. Which is kind of disturbing, putting it that way. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's That was an easy level, wasn't it? Well, that was way easy. Or well, at least we collected a bunch of ammo for later. Alright, well, let, let's do one more. I think we got time for one more. Luck, we'll do one more episode. That was really, really quick. You don't get much quicker than that, do ya? What's that e sound? Even my love making's quicker than that. Water? <clears throat> yes. Wait, I mean, even longer than that. Wait, that there. was bad. You, anyway, I just screwed up my own joke. Even my love making's longer and anyway. You know what I was trying to say. Never mind. Just forget. Men in black, forget. We're gonna uh <laughs> What's in here? Okay, let me just look at the other side of the room. So Dexter, I do 8-bit games. Actually 70% of what we do is 8 and 16-bit games, my friend. If you become a regular, uh, we're mainly a retro stream, uh, to be honest, Dexter. So I appreciate your feedback, but the good news for you, brother, is uh, we mainly do re uh, retros on the channel. Actually, our late night stream uh, is going to be a retro stream, so hopefully you'll come back and join us. Where's the leak? Oh, oh my gosh. New virus? Can, can we please... <sighs> Why can't you guys just respect my uh, boundaries? I, I just asked you guys not to talk about social issues or current events. And, and we got people in here like giving their views and pushing their luck. 
Salem, you're, you're treading a bit of a fine line now. Keep, keep your agenda out of the stream, please. Hold up there. Look at this. So what are we going to do over here? What are we supposed to... Okay. Attention. There is flooding in the bilge. The bulkheads cannot be lowered during a power outage. Power can be restored from the engine room. What timeline is this Resident Evil? Good question. I really don't know. Uh, it's uh, about 2005, I think. Uh, according to the game, I think it's around 2005. Yeah, I think it's 2005. Yeah, see now now we're yeah, look now we're in the sewerage. Yummy. <laughs> oh, so Eric says what time is it over here? 2 30 in the afternoon, Eric. Two okay, so we got little froggies now. Now now it's time to bring out the big guns, I think. Hey Ricky, what do you call oh jeez. I don't know if I should touch that, you know. I don't I don't know if we're allowed to crack bisexual jokes in 2020, my friend. I d I don't know. I might leave that one alone. Crap, so how do we steam will cook you alive? So how do we turn off the steam? Let off some steam, Bennett. Okay, we'll just go in this door. I that okay. Zombile. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What, what's in this store over here? Oh, you never played this game? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty new to all this. Too. Oh, gosh. This is, oh, my gosh. Fuck off. I, I, I might need to pull the rifle back out of the chest soon. Oh, my gosh. Ah! So Thomas says you're happy with this resi game just to see Jill's backside. I know, right? This is this is like the, the garbage monster in Star Wars, you know? See, I've got the garbage monster vibes in this. Are they dead? Oh, I think we got rid of both of them. Alright, so which way do we go first? Uh, I mean, we've got a choice of two different doors. So, Edmund says, you hate this level, it made you so mad. I have a funny feeling I need to practice first, hey. It's <laughs> so, alright, we'll keep going for a little bit. Um, use scanner to look some enemy in the water if you can. Oh, okay, thank you. Alright, no worries. We can do that. So we can't, we can't, okay, we can't go in there. We'll fry like a freaking biscuit. Okay, I was about to say like a biscuit, but that makes no sense. And out here we will go. Yeah, absolutely, Mikey. As I said, we're a classic in a current gaming stream. And we take pride on that. Very, very much. Yeah, for a game that's on casual difficulty, this is certainly being a handful today. There's nothing here we can do. Oh, okay, is this going to turn the steam off? It looks like the restart device, but it's stuck. So, how do we unstuck it? Okay, it looks like we've got a little clue over here. One of the covers came off the pipes in the bilge, bilge passageway, and now there's steam pouring out of it. The steam is scalding, so you'll have to do a little workaround by it. In the engine room, there are two levers. Use the levers to match the needle on the meter to the proper letters. This will stop the steam from spilling out of the pipe. The letters and the corresponding locations are as follows. Ah, uh, okay, so this is kind of like in Resi 3. All right, so we're gonna go back over here. So we're gonna get to the other side somehow. Alright, so... Alright, so we have to get... Alright. There's another... We can't get around that way. Alright, let's just go back over here for a second. Ok, 
Okay, we can work it out. Uh, which way should we go first? Are we supposed to go up and here, I guess? I'm hoping this will take us the right way. I'm a little bit lost. This might be where I need to watch a video offline. Just saying. Now we can't go that way yet. It's like a... Oh my gosh. Uh, are we going the right way? Yeah, this is very tricky. I hate puzzles, man. I don't play these games the puzzles. What do you think this is? Okay, so is this it? Over here? No. Oh, boy. Alright, well, I am... Actually, I'm glad I'm here, because I can swap out one of the guns now. Uh, we're going to move the shotgun out, and we're going to replace it with this sniper rifle for the minute. <clears throat> There's no map. Uh, I mean, I can see the mini-map in the... No, there's not really. It's, uh, I mean... So freaking confused. Oh my gosh. This, this place took you two hours because you got so lost? Oh, don't tell me that. I don't... I don't... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try one more time here. I tried to use a lever and it said it was stuck, remember? The thing came up on the screen saying it was stuck. Well, let me try and go back in here one more time. As I said, it's alright. It's a good area to finish part one in a minute anyway. Alright, so... Um, that, that's the way I went last time, isn't it? And what about, or is it up here? No, okay, I think I need to go up this one. Alright, let's try this one. So Billy says you believe in me, just use the force. Alright, let's have a look over here. The clues is backward from CBA and off valve. I don't even, that's just going over my head. CBA, off valve, what's all that business mean? Oh look, okay, no, this is where we were already. So we have to go on the other one. I don't know what CBA, off valve means. It's just going over my head. What's on the menu for B2D? So we've got some death nuts and we've got some jerky. Alright, so let's just go in here one more time. Oh, here we are. So... Uh, well, I feel like I've been everywhere that I can go. I've tried every room, so I don't know where else to go. Unless I can jump over this. No, I've been everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm really, really stuck. I I'm gonna have to watch offline, because as you can see, I've been everywhere. And the only machine that we had access to was stuck. And yeah, I don't know where else to go. Uh, I've done everything. Unless there's like... Uh, see, that's going to take us back to the beginning. I'll look over here one more time. I don't know. I'll look over here one more time. By the, by the bridge to the clue, the pipes are on the right. By the bridge to the clue, the pipes are on the right. Okay, let's just go back up here. One more time. Yeah, I, I, oh, here we go. We've got to press this. I didn't see that one. Okay, that's what I didn't see. Okay, that's fine. So, we, we just turned one of these off. Alright, this is where we reset the power. Nothing's working. Let's see if I can figure this out, okay? I need you, however. So we need there. we need to get back over to that no control problem. panel. I'm on it. Investigate the other panel. So hopefully, Nothing hang works. on. Okay, so that's off. So we need to press that. And we need to go to the other room. Okay, that's fine. Switch off on C, then B, and then A off valve. Right, I'll go look for it. No worries. All right, so far so good. gosh. So Edmund says, that's the one you were telling you, bro. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, why do we all have to be know-it-alls? I didn't see it there. Oh my goodness. I didn't see it, otherwise I would have pressed it. Oh, here we go. We're going to go back in here. Alright, 
Well, that's okay, because I've been in every room, but I just didn't see that. Big thank you to everyone who's been giving advice, by the way. I do appreciate it. Alright, so back down here. Alright, new area. Oh, okay, I was about to I was about to complain that we haven't shot something in a Oh my gosh. Oh come on! Oh dude! This is nuts. Alright, there we go, that's all sorted. So now okay, let's have a look in here quickly. Minding my own business and some guy licks, you know, no means no, buddy. Sorry, Mikey, I can't read all that comment out right now. I'm a little bit flustered. What's this? Custom parts. What gun's that? Okay, no, hang on. I'm just gonna... What, what gun can we put away? change here. Alright, cool. So there's a new weapon. If you got to get the map on the lower ship, well, if I saw the map, I would have taken it, wouldn't I? You guys are getting a little bit obnoxious now. <laughs> I can't forget something that I don't see, can I? Oh my goodness. go in here. You think it looks like the crab guy from Future Armor? It does a little bit. Right, so here we go. We got the next lever over here. So you said B now, didn't you? I made it. Oh, there you go. So that's the next one. Fantastic. Oh, gosh. We're almost out, guys. I can't wait. Ammo, ammo case. What's in this book? Any other clothes? Timing is needed to restore power. Two keys must be used at the same time. Just in case I put the restart key, you know where. Know where I'm talking? Okay, we'll worry about that afterwards. There are no keys here. Oh, shit. My guess is you have to start them both So I have to find the other key. And we really need that key. Search for this. Okay, well, let's get the other key. Alright, now where have I got to go? Um, deep breath, Rick, deep breath. Give, give me a second here. So, what's a... Okay, so I guess we'll go back out this door. And well, I guess we have to go closer to the beginning again. Alright. All right, so, so which way now? So, we've already been that way. That's how... Okay, so we're going to go back down here, I think. And there's like a cog or something, isn't there, that we have to find too? I'm hoping we're going, getting close to the right direction. No, so I was hoping we could get in there, but I guess... Okay, that's not the right... Oh, boy! Is there anything back over here, or is that it? Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to turn A back off, don't I? Uh, sorry, I have to turn A back off. I get it. Okay, now I know what to do. This is where we need to be, but we need to turn A off. I think. Alright, hold up. I'm going to try that. Um, gosh, this is confusing as fudge, isn't it? I'm definitely having a break from this game after this level. <laughs> I, th I think we have to turn this off now. Aha! Okay, fantastic. Got it. Yep. 
at least I figured out that much. So that, that should get us through this next room, uh, over here. Uh, here we go. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Fantastic. Hell yeah. And, uh, I got that one. Picked up a cog. I don't know what that's for, but... So now that's off. Okay. So so where do we go now? This is where I'm a little bit. I think I think we just go back out here again. Uh Thank you for your patience, guys. If you find this very confusing, yeah, don't I know it. This is not the This is the way back to the beginning, isn't it? Or is it? Double checking everything in here. Oh no, we have to go back. What's this do? Alright, I was going the wrong way, my bad. We're almost done. <laughs> Fuck, this is so confusing. So we got the cog, I mean, that's a good start. I'm guessing that's gonna. We're almost there. Okay, here we go. So I think the cog is going to allow us to use both uh, things. Oh shit, get out of here, Jill. Don't Just don't even hang around. Uh, fingers, fingers crossed we got what we need. Hey, go on, Ryan. Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. Jill, everything's shot to hell in here. I'll try some repairs and radio okay. goes well. So I don't know where we use the cog. Do you, do you know where we have to use the cog? Right, maybe it's on this side. Hmm. I need a key to activate it. Well, I don't know where to get the key from. That the, uh, Rick's rage meters at two percent. I'm fine. Running around in circles seems to be what this job is about. Is this the right way? Okay, here we go. We haven't been down this way yet. Fantastic. Alright. It won't open? Why won't it open? Oh, that sucks. What am I... Oh, my gosh. What Ah! Oh! Oh! This is killing me. Okay. Go to gears door and pull cog in the middle. I don't know. I don't remember seeing the gears door, but I'll look for it. I don't remember where it is. I don't know where the gears door is. I don't remember ever seeing it. Son of a biscuit. Now it's at 10%. It is. Oh, gosh. Oh, we got him. What a pain in the neck this is, huh? So where, where's the gears door? It's not up here. Yeah, I have no idea where it is. Like, where's where's the gear door? Hmm. Where, where about? Is it all the way back at the beginning or what? Maybe it's at back at the beginning. All right, I'm gonna try go back to the beginning because there ain't no gear door here. Stay 
Stay calm, Rick. Stay calm. One more hit, 90%. We're Dom and Vic. Yes, that's that's very good. Is there anything in here I need to do? Hmm. Turn back a little. You guys are on a big delay, so um crazy so Billy says when you finish these levels it gives you a huge, a huge sense of uh, accomplishment okay this is a door that I can't maybe this is it I'm hoping this is it over here it's like a card key door apparently oh, son of a bitch that wasn't oh guys I've just about hit the end of my patience I've uh, just about hit the end of my patience, guys. And, you know, I, I get very, very flustered when I get stuck in sections like this. I, I might have to watch the video offline. Man, talk about getting lost. You think there's a jump scare coming really soon? Like, like I, I need a jump scare right now, like I need a punch in the face. Oh, there's, there's definitely nothing here. So Alex says I'm at 70% now. I'm, gl I'm glad you're counting. Yeah. I feel like I've been everywhere. Level 5. 92%. As I said, I just hate getting stuck on you guys. See, I got the gear from in here. So this, this is... Like, the next room over here is where I got the gear. Like, so I got it from in here. So that's all turned off anyway. Alright, see, I'm going to check these rooms one more time. You, uh, sorry, I, you, you, you're you not really being that helpful, Adriana. No disrespect, I know you're trying to be, but you're not being that much help. I'm going to go look around here one more time. If I, if, if I get lost again, guys, then uh, we'll, we'll have a timeout. Big thank you again for watching. How are you going, Heather? Nice to see you, lovely. Thank you for watching today. Let's go in here one more time. So this is this is where I was before. No, it wasn't actually. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what's. Okay, so that's where I got the gun. That, that's that, that's where I got the gun that you were talking about. So I'm assuming you mean up these stairs. <sighs> oh, okay, here we go. Far out, man. So now what? Now what do we do? So we've set the cog. So how do we get this started? Like this. Heather says, still no Teespring delivery and still no response from them. That, that, I think there's just a really, really big delay because of the whole COVID thing. So I am really, really sorry, Heather. Um, but they do have a refund policy if you're not happy with the weight and everything, man. So keep, a uh, girl, so keep on their back, hey? I, I want to thank you for your support, but if the clothing is taking so long, uh, I won't be offended if you ask for a refund. I don't want you guys to feel like you're being screwed or anything. As I said, the, the store I do do business with is a third-party store. I don't have anything to do with, like, the delivery or anything. Yeah, it's alright. We almost got this. Alright, we got it, guys. We got it. Finally. It took me long enough, didn't it? It, do it does feel like a big sense of accomplishment today. All right. Yeah, it's a bit much. There. Good as new. What the? 
What happened? So I'm guessing we have like a boss battle or something coming up with like no ammo, which is fantastic. What's going on here? Oh, well, we're about to drown. That's not good. I don't want to drown. We're running out of time. Damn it! Phew. It's not stopping. You can give you the link. link for, okay, there we go. We actually, that's a great, that's a great spot to finish. Oh, what a great spot to finish for a late night stream now. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad that was the end of the, oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to save here. Oh my oh gosh. I'm so glad that, that that's the end of part five, guys, because that mission was absolutely driving me absolutely freaking insane. But we did it, guys. We did it. Oh man. Fucking E. I'm pretty happy to come on the late night with some retros now. Yeah, that's... Man, I tell you what, this game is so fun, but it's got your typical Resident Evil puzzles in it, doesn't it? It's nuts. Oh, deep breath, deep breath. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. That was the first stream uh, for today. Guys, I'm going to be back on in about an hour, maybe about in uh, 55 minutes. Uh, for our late night stream. We hope you guys can make it. Um, but I'm gonna have a quick uh, break and calm down before we put on the next lot of games. But uh, how you doing, Matty? <laughs> guys, thank you again so much for all the likes, the shares, and star donations. You've been incredible. As I said, I'm just trying to get some new uh, Resident Evil games in the lineup, and we'll, we'll master Revelations eventually. We'll make it work. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to queue out the outro. Guys, please don't forget to like, whether you're on Facebook and YouTube on the way out. And uh, we will be back on in about an hour. Take care, everybody.